Welcome everybody. We back. And Again. we back to the shit I say, should say, shouldn't say. Shit, shit I, I shouldn't, shouldn't say. say podcast. Mm-hmm. Man, I forgot the name. I wonder why. Uh huh. Uh-huh. We got some new things coming up in the forefront. Um, we we we're not really gonna touch on them right now, not yet, not but we yet. got some things coming up that we're gonna want to tell y'all about on the next podcast. So y'all just stay tuned for that. Indeed, indeed. Big things. Big things. Indeed, we all in here this time. Chris is back. I'm back. We got Chris back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know he made it back. You know what I'm saying? Just one time off, but you know we back in day. here. I had a sick day. You gave me PTO. <laughs> <laughs> Back like he never left. Podcast time. Your boy Leo Bishop in here. We got bestseller. <laughs> hey, I uh, just got finished with book three of my series, uh, The Palace Program. So y'all go pick that up on Amazon. Uh, book's doing really good. So um, support your boy if you get a chance. Um, actually, though, I got uh, a big deal coming out um, at the end of this month. So I'm going to put the book on sale for 99 cents. So actually, actually, you can wait. Wait until, like, September the 17th, and it'll be on sale for 99 cents. So I'll be at y'all about that. We also got our illustrious producer, Jerry. 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 We got Jerry. What's up, y'all? Jerry. What's good? What's good? So <coughs> Y'all know what we talking about. You already know. We talking about white on white We crime. talking about what everybody been talking about for the last, what, week? Yeah. Uh, good week. Since the Eminem back. came out. Hip-hop is back. Look, let me tell you, <coughs> let me tell you what was going on. I remember... The night that Eminem came out, like I remember where I was at when 9 11 happened. That's what's you know up. What I'm saying? That's real. When 9 11 happened, <laughs> yeah, was we like was that. on our way to, I think, Mr. Stamper class or uh, Mr. Yeah, Brown yeah, class. Uh-huh. And then all the white kids in our class was crying remember, because they were like, Ooh, yeah. what happened? And we were yeah. like, what happened? They was like, the twin tires. And we was like, well, we was right. like, do we get to leave school? Right, early? exactly. And we did. Yeah. Um, but I remember the same thing with Eminem. Lucky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I was taking a shower. And I was just listening to, um, I believe I was listening. What's that that dude I put you on to? Black, black, black. Uh, bun, buddy? buddy? Buddy, yeah. I was listening Something to Buddy like or buddy? whatever. Something yeah. Like that. And so I went to my new music and shit on my phone, and I saw Eminem pop up. And I'm like, what, Eminem? And Eminem's last album wasn't that good. Revival, that shit wasn't great. Trash. So, yeah, I wasn't, even ex- I wasn't even excited about it. I saw it, and I'm like, oh, Eminem, what are you doing? Man, what, are you, what are you doing? You doing a surprise <laughs> album? So I just kind of half-heartedly turned that shit on, and I put it in the shower with me. And by the time I got done with my shower, it was like the third song, one with Joyner Lucas. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this shit yeah, real. Lucky you. That's yeah. Fire. yeah, that's when I was like, oh, okay, shit. this shit is real. Because the first song was hot, the second yeah. song was all right, the third song was crazy, and it just heated up from there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I saw, I heard him like dropping names. He was yeah. saying niggas' names. Yeah. I'm like, hey. It's shit is real. Right. <laughs> shit is real right here. This is much better than revival. Yeah. So anyway, a long story short, I didn't fall asleep that night. Yeah. That was at 12 a.m. I stayed up all night listening to that album. I listened to it probably 25 times that night. I was editing my book and listening to that, and it was just amazing. So what did y'all think about it? Let's, let's just start there. What did y'all think about the album, just overall? Uh, and this is unbiased because, like I said, Eminem is, to me, the GOAT. Right. Um, doesn't mean he's my favorite rapper. He's just the GOAT. But I was happy. I was I was very happy, especially to know it was an album that didn't even get didn't even get put out. We didn't get no advertising. It just dropped, and then I went into a whole uh, half-assed. I'm like, all right, well, M. Yeah, you know I'm like, it's hard to to for your for the for you to be your, the greatest rapper to <clears throat> be falling off due to age, and you think like he lost it. Right. That album was dope, man. I mean, anything other than that, if I could give it a a out of ten, I give it about eight point five. The album was yeah, dope. Yeah, he, yeah. It was dope. That's all I can say. What you think, Leo? Uh, I give it about an eight. Okay, I say about an eight. I think that's fair. Couple that's of the, fair. couple of the beats, I wasn't really feeling as much. Well, that's what I'm saying. Let's not talk about beats. No, 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 I'm talking about not well. The beat matters, right? Because well, it, it, in it a way, right, like, 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 song, all, 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 all beats matter. Right, it's far, <laughs> all beats matter. Now, as far as just Eminem, now, in now we're general, talking about him. Him. That's what we going. Just the bars and all that. Of course, of course, that was good. Yeah, I would give that an eight and a half. Did you hear Jerry? Jerry. Yeah, I heard it. What'd you think about it? I didn't care for it. What? Yeah. The only, I and you, actually, I'm not surprised. I wasn't. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't like let as me, impressed let, as let the ask, masses. Let me he ask people like, something. Oh, what the return what, of the what gold? Can, I let me ask you something. What can Eminem do to Nothing. impress y'all? Because Nothing. Said, like, content. He give y'all content. Y'all not happy with that? Uh, some people say he don't speak on certain issues. He talked about issues. That ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. Then he does what he does best, which is this. And that ain't good enough. What are y'all looking for from him? Well, listen, I don't understand. What, he can, ain't what can he do? He listen, just, I don't know about I don't know about Jerry, but I know I know about people oh, I have, like I have, Leo. I have for him. I know oh, I'm about to get so far up in his ass, bro. We need a whole segment. 
<laughs> but listen, I know why Leo has a problem with. Not, not, not even the Leo thing, but just people in, like Leo. Yeah, just I, in, yeah, I just know in exactly general. Why. I know listen, exactly why. I've already figured listen, that out. Listen, Eminem is to Jay Z what LeBron is to Kobe. Correct. So LeBron gets a lot of hate simply because he's a threat to Kobe. Right, exactly. He threatens to remove Kobe from the exactly. from from his from where we feel like right. Kobe should be at. So we go into LeBron games with a negative outlook. We, we go into it like. No, hoping, I mean, hold on, hold on. Hoping yeah. that we go up in it, fu- uh, hoping that he fuck up right. because the more successful he is, the, the more likely it is that right. Kobe is gonna right. be at that level well, and Kobe need, gets dropped down. Eminem is to Jay Z that same yeah, thing. The better Eminem does, the worse Jay Z right. looks. This, so they go into his albums with a negative already, thought process. No what, like, oh, they they looking for any line they don't like. Like, exactly. oh, he said this, I don't like that. Yeah. That 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 that, that wasn't even that good to begin with. When it comes to the Eminem Jay Z thing, okay, when we say Eminem's the rap god, right? Jay Z is hands down the face of hip hop. That's not getting taken away. Right. Jay Z is the man. When you think hip hop, you think of Jay Z. This is the problem that we have, that I have with people like yourself <laughs> when ahead. it comes to I Eminem. Don't mind. Listen, <laughs> when you speak of Mount Rushmore at hip hop, Eminem's rap guy, not because we're saying, okay, lyrically, he's no one is better than Eminem lyrically. He, when he says rap guy, we're talking about putting words together. It's like word scrabble. Nobody does that better than Eminem. The only person that comes close is Royce the Five Nine, but he's not as known as Eminem. Nobody does what Eminem does with words. No one. You can you can name people, and if you name somebody, they, they still don't do it better than Eminem. Eminem plays with words. Rap God, that's what we mean. When it comes to hip hop being the man, the face of everything in hip hop, Jay Z is it. Nobody's saying that he's not. Nobody's better than Jay Z. Hold up, and another Marketing, thing, all around everything, Jay Z's that dude. An- another thing with Jay Z. Listen, we listen. We got to be honest about some shit with Jay Z. I that? love Jay Z. He's had a lot of help, bro. A lot. What you mean by help exactly? Well, for one, Beyonce helped take him up. A whole hold oh, up, hold up, a whole other. Hold up, who better? else? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who else? Beyonce. Who who's el- who else has helped Jay Z get to where Jay Z has rolled like over. a lot of coattails, yeah. beings, yeah, state property, I mean, everything. The Young Gunners, every, Dame, like everybody, Dash, Dame, everybody Kanye helped him. West. Yeah, Kanye, and he's just keep going up a level. And then yeah. one, once that person is no longer a use for him, he, he move on to something else and something else and something else. Like, he's had a whole lot of help. He hasn't done it all with just ability. Right. I mean, who hasn't, he's the, who hasn't well, had no, but help? I'm saying, but that, but, but you know, but I, I, you I, say I, the same have, thing about Eminem, though. Hold on, but he had Dr. Dre. No, just hold on, Dr. Saying, hold on, hold on, but a lot of people had Dr. Dre. You gotta notice. A lot of people had Dr. Dre. Do you understand how Eminem landed into Dr. Dre's lap? He didn't just get. No, he didn't. Like, it was by coincidence. He was there. Dr. Dre has had like 100 artists. You can't take that but away. Every, you can't take that not away. That he, away he, he arguably the, ba- the greatest producer in hip hop. Right, but, but what you can't we're act saying, like that. Hold, hold on, hold on. But if we're saying that Dr. Dre has produced for over a hundred artists, it, how, it, come, how come this, they're not hold, doing what Eminem? Hold on, hold on. But most of the most of the artists that Dr. Dre do fuck hey, with, they have, guess, are elevated what, to a status that they would. But nowhere near, nowhere near Eminem. It ain't even close. It's like a whole other status. But guess what? Guess what? Snoop would have been who he was without Dr. Dre. But guess what? Not in L.A. But Dr. Dre and Eminem still fuck with each other. Name somebody who helped Jay. That he still fuck with nobody. He watched everybody. Yeah. That's what Ta-ta. he said. No, he don't. Tata, we don't even know. Tata ain't musical. <laughs> he still fuck with me. But what we saying Miss is, Bleak? but what I'm saying he is, I know. Bleak. But Bleak, he pay bleak bills. Bleak. That's about <laughs> it. But what I'm saying is, what we saying is, what I'm trying to say is, nobody's discredited Jay Z. I just say he's the face of hip hop. He, 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 we understand that. But what happens is, is. When we speak of Eminem, y'all try to disregard Eminem like he's not a pioneer or he's not a pillar. He is. I disagree. No, no, no it's I not. I disagree. I disagree that he's not a pillar. No, or a I'm pioneer. saying I disagree that uh, what you making it seem like nobody no, making it seem no, like Eminem know, ain't no, on the my, rock, this, Mount Rushmore hip hop. I don't feel. I don't no, feel like you time, believe he that. Did, he time. believe he deserved to be in the Mount. He, no, he just no not. Deserve, he is. He not number one. I just say he's not number. He top five. Hold on. I just say he's not. That's saying a lot. Well, he should be top five. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't be questionable. But I hear things with. Hold on, there's nothing. First off, we can say the Eminem's put out mediocre albums. We can sit here and say that some stuff we don't agree with. Jay Z Jay Z has done the same thing, but it's different. Yeah, Jay Z ain't gotten that many mediocre albums compared matter. to Eminem. Leo, Leo, that's not, all that's all subjective but, anyway. Well we're not sitting here saying Nobody I didn't say, say I didn't, that. Hold on, I didn't say millions of people I didn't who don't say like him at all. Many mediocre albums. I just sit here, I'm sitting here trying to prove a point. There's, we can't look at Jay Z's body of work or Eminem's body of work and look at their stuff and in any way just say that all their stuff is all out trash. Even on Revival, we may not have liked some of the songs, but for you to say that Eminem's rap god status, his wordplay and stuff is trash, 
you full of shit. You might not like the beat selection. You may not like because four 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 wasn't all that great. It just had some. It it just had good content. It had a great tone. It had good content. Okay, but the rapping ability was not there. Nothing Eminem. The difference between Eminem and Jay Z. Eminem, Jay Z can't come out today and do lyrically what Eminem did. He's never been that this week. And he's never been able to do that. But it fall up for me, rap wise. That's the difference. Like Joe Button say sometimes, this me thinking with my rapper brain, with my right. musical brain. Jay Z cannot do what Eminem can. He can't. Do. Eminem, he, Eminem can and has done what Jay Z has done. Even on a bigger level to him, Jay Z can't do what Eminem nah, does. Eminem can't do in what, any way. Eminem can't adapt to the times. And, uh, he's not the, that. Just I'm, just, got, I'm just saying. He can't adapt to the times and to the different styles the same he's way not that Jay Z can. He's not, he's not trying to. He's I not, mean, hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Jay Z can rap on the song he, with anybody even, from any coast, about this. and it's gonna that sound good. That doesn't make him great, though. I mean, that, that, what does that mean? That, that means that you're hold just on. flexibility matters. No. It count, Listen. you know. That's a, that, that's no. hard to do. There's a lot of artists that can't Dude. bend or be flexible in hip hop. Some, some dudes, especially great. lyrical rappers, sometimes they too limited. Mm-hmm. They can't they get are. on a down south beat and do some bounce and shit. They don't know how to adapt. Exactly, and because me and him are lyrical rappers, and this is what I'm trying to tell you. You have to understand, Eminem never said he was that. Even in the times when he was at his highest, he would never have done those things. He would never have rapped to a ludicrous beat. Or, like, they're two different styles of rapper. You need to understand what a lyricist is as opposed to a, exactly. a Jay Z. Uh, that. But, but that's what I'm saying. You but take, you can't, oh, hold, you this, can't down Jay Z or down, knock him. Nobody's hold on, down what I'm saying Jay. is you can't knock Jay Z for Nobody what he has. can't do. You're not even. For, not? No, You're listen to what I'm saying. And in return, not do the same thing to Eminem. So Jay Z lose points because Eminem Nobody's is better at other things, but the things Jay Z better at. Oh no, 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 if we're just talking rapping ability, it's not close. Jay-Z. I get that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I say hold Eminem, one of the best no, technical rappers, if he not the no, best listen, technical rapper No, listen, I get what you're ever. saying. That's that, all, I get you're, that. you're saying that Jay-Z could be more flexible. I believe that you're wrong. They, 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 they live in two different genres. Eminem lives in a genre of super lyrical uh, underground genre. Which right. is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're not going to see Jay-Z doing songs with Tech 9 He wouldn't sound right. Right. You're, but Same, he could. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he can't. Hold on. He, he could. Can't. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Well, how could he? Let me finish. Go ahead. Same thing with Eminem and Future. You're not going to see it because it ain't going to sound right because they're in two different genres. Eminem don't live in that genre. He lives in the underground super lyrical miracle genre. That's what he does. Jay-Z does the more, you know, African-American, more wider, where he could do Southern, Eastern, you know, some... You won't even hear Jay-Z on some West Coast shit. It just wouldn't sound right. It, musically, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't make sense. So it's the same thing. You won't hear Eminem on a song with Tech 9 blacking out. I mean, Jay-Z. It'd be you, easier. You'll never hear I think that. it'd be easier for Jay-Z to do that than it would for him. But will you hear that? Would, would, would that ever song? happen? Of course Hold not. Hold on. People were saying that before Jay-Z, before Jay-Z did the song with Future, people used to have that same type of talk. But that's, Jay-Z that's can't still, do that's it. That's still like Southern that. shit. Jay-Z been doing that his whole career. He was on Master P and them albums. He been doing that his Juvenile. whole career. You Exactly. You'll never hear Jay-Z on some underground lyrical shit, ever, with, with those types of guys who are from that genre. Just like you'll never hear Eminem on some West Coast bouncy shit, on some down South shit, or really, or he do East Coast shit. But that's what I think that you get messed up is they, they're in two different genres, and they belong in two different genres because of their skill set. You won't see Jay-Z blacking out with Tech 9 going rapid fire with these motherfuckers and you're not going to see Eminem on the uh, uh, My Roof is Gone with uh, right. the fucking Future. It wouldn't it wouldn't musically sound like right. It would, right. It would, it would right. be stupid yeah, as fuck to even hear Eminem on some shit that like that. I got the keys was fired. Though. But could he do it? If, if Future wanted Eminem to do a song, could he you know, skillfully write the verse. Of course he could. Would anybody want to hear it? No, of course I don't think not. it is sound good. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Hold on. I got a good point. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, so go I look at the Eminem and uh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z thing is kind of like LeBron and Curry, right. right? Why Curry? Eminem is more like Steph Curry. It's no. like a specialist type like, that's of thing. Disrespectful. Hold on. Listen to what I'm saying, man. Steph Curry, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. two-time MVP. Right. Y'all know the nigga great, so I'm not acting like he trash or anything. What I'm saying is he do one thing so great. You know, he the best at that. It's right. like so the gap is like right there is what you're saying with his wordplay yeah. and all of that. That's that's how I look at it. LeBron is more or less like Jay-Z. He can do learning, so right. many different things. Right. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I'd rather have LeBron on my team than I would Steph Curry. The same thing. I would rather – I would rank Jay-Z as a better rapper than Eminem overall. But I get it. When it comes just to wordplay alone. You're not uh, – you're not I, uh, I'll admit. But I, but I mean – I admit that Eminem have better ability. Rap-wise – I what mean, did you believe Jay Z does better than him? 
I think he a better song maker. Like he that's better... what I'm saying. Well, we're saying rap wise. Like we already know that Jay Z can make better songs. I mean, like, that's get, part of rap it, though. Right, but I'm saying, but lyrics is like hip hop like, was built on lyrics, man. That's what I don't understand. Like y'all get so it's like uh, it's, it's like, also built on, on feeling. Let me the the no, message know, and all of that. Hip hop ain't wasn't on, always on, but, just about beating but, niggas to death no, with bars. You're right. It's been about the poetic But what's your logic? Let me finish real quick. Let me finish real quick. Okay. You say you say it's about feeling and how you make you feel. You know what's so crazy? Jay Z has no body of work this super personal, and this is what I always say. None. None. Okay. Now listen, Marshall. Ma- no, no, None. He does. He's not known hold for that. That's not what he does. You hear some shit and it'll touch you, but it ain't hold personal on. like hold song. A little bit in song cry. Yeah, that's what everybody go to. But that's the only <laughs> shit he got. Eminem's, Eminem's <laughs> beginning of his life has always Marshall Masters. Their Pete. It's been about his life, and and the crazy part about it is, we critique somebody. I'm not talking about their personal experience. How can you? How can you tell somebody's body of work when it's their autobiography? They're talking about themselves, right? Hold on. He's talking about his life. I'm saying, you look like you're about to interrupt. I'm saying, he talked about his life. And he's, he spent his whole career not talking about guns, not talking about anything else. When he does do rapidly rap, it's wacky and it's on point, Who though. Who likes rapping about guns? Him him don't. He doesn't. Like, you know, no okay. gun bars and, and, and shit like murder. Say, hold on. Yeah. And, you say, and you say you can relate to Jay-Z, right? I can relate to both of them. I like. I, I, I'm saying, but like a, a lot of Jay Z shit is fabricated. It's drug talk. It's just, it's just a better polished version. Jay Lee say a lot of witty shit, and it's like that shit gets old. Eminem actually, it's so being a a, a real lyricist. What I'm trying to say is, get, well, hold, let, I'm just saying. Let me say two. It's hard to make good songs, right? But being a lyricist, people don't understand how hard that shit is to sit down and pin out real thought process stuff, and then on about your that, life, right? Because I can't put, even do it. Like really, how many right. how 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 many introspective songs do I have? It's, it's I don't have many dude. of them. I, I got like two. Dude, I hear some of the stuff Jay Z doing, not disrespecting Jay. I be like, man, I could do that, but when nobody care because it's like I'm not Jay Z. Some stuff, a lot of people have done things that Drake has done, underground people, and they don't care for it because it's not Drake. Right. Like right. the stuff that Eminem does to this day, nobody dude. can really like, do to it to this day. Royce, like, like be honest that's about like, it. We all retired rappers. Be honest. Be real with yourself. You rapped, and this is why I'm about to say this. Do you think you can rap better than Sleep? I'm a retired rapper. I think no, no, no. no answer the question. Not in an Eminem. No, 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 no. S- seriously. No. Come Do you on, think Jerry. you can rap better than me? And it's not a slight to you. Just be real. Do you think you can rap better than me? I think that I can. Nigga, can I answer the question? I'm asking. You are you. Every I'm, time I'm, I'm about to answer, <laughs> shit, you be like, go ahead, like, go ahead. Hold on, let me. Do you really think give you can you rap answer? better than me? In ways I do. In, in what ways, ways do you think you can rap better? Than All right, when it comes to like the same thing I'm saying, when it comes like Jay Z to Eminem, I think I'm more of a Jay Z type of rapper than, and Song I think creation. y'all more of Eminem type rapper. What, what type? I'm saying like this is what I can say to you. This is what because Joe Budden taught me a lot the other day on his podcast. We too nice in hip hop. Look, you my dude, but rap wise, you are food to me, nigga. I like like what, this is what I say. I say it like this: When I was rapping, nigga, would you risk? A battle with me on the on the mic diss track. I'm smelling a battle like, you right know now. My, you, you may not. I don't know if you know my body of work. I feel like, come on, man, you being disrespectful. No, right I'm now. not being of disrespectful. I know. I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> How saying could like, I not? I'm, know. I'm sitting here right. saying like, cause, cause honestly, I'm humble me, in hip hop. Me but, personally, I feel like I'll do better versus y'all in a battle than I would just dude, us rapping you, on a regular song just I, to rap, I, I, nigga. You because out. when you rapping on songs. Just the rap. Sometimes it's like if anybody rap on the song with Eminem, it's just all about bars. It's like Joe Budden was saying, you you rhyming Leo, words, do you, so to speak. Leo, do you understand? Have you heard my song, the cancer song I've done? Yes. You couldn't do a song like that, Leo. I, I seriously disagree, Leo. I disagree. I disagree. Now we I disagree. Like, we friends. But the reason this, this see, is hip-hop. the reason this I, is hip-hop. The, hold on. The reason I say that is because you haven't even been exposed to ninety percent, ninety nine percent of the songs that I have even written. Whose fault is that? It's my fault. Okay, but I, I'm not gonna sit okay, here and down my own ability well, just because well, what you don't well, know. Well, that's, that's, well, this is hip hop. Remember, this ain't got fuck? nothing to do with personal. This is what you pin. I only go off of what you pin. Leo, things that we've wrote, they're intricate. Nigga, you said things about slicing niggas up like red beer and pizza. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, don't I remember write those that. Things. I remember, I remember Dude, that bar. That shit alone, nigga. I, have you heard my diss tracks, nigga? I'm I'm saying this on a, on a version of hip hop. I'm speaking on this, and this this has a meaning. This is not really slighted towards you. It's it's yeah, in general. Give a fuck. It's, I'm Keep just going. saying. Okay, but I'm just saying like okay, like there's levels to this rap shit. People assume because people are lyricists, it's hard to do what we do. It's easy to do what the typical person does in rap. And it's a lot of typical rappers out here. And the problem is, is this is my issue. When you're a typical rapper and you're a fan, when you go at Eminem, like, how do you think we got like this? We didn't get like this, but Eminem molded us. We, 
every great rapper that you know, even Jay Z, Eminem has done something for them because they know, like, damn, I can't. Do Shit, Jay Z himself said right. it don't get better than Eminem. And people don't understand. People how argue for Jay Z. When Jay Z himself said, "Well, it don't really get better than Eminem," right. and, and, and <laughs> but they're arguing right, for Jay Z. Right, right, like, Jay Z don't but, even but, agree right, with well, you. And, 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 <laughs> but, I, but once again, he I, don't even agree. But I, I still, he's still only speaking about it in one way. It's just like if somebody was speaking on shooting the threes, they well, would say but, the same but, thing but about Steph Curry. Saying. Do they that, mean that, Steph Curry that, is just the ultimate basketball okay, player? Okay, Eminem is Eminem is a better rapidy rapper, right? Right than Jay. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Has Jay ever done anything like Stan? No, that's not rapidy rap, that's bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sing for the moment. Has Jay Z ever done anything and, like that? No. Stan, no. The way I am, no. That's what so, I'm I mean, to uh, say. I, what you want to do in order to make your argument sound better is to put Eminem in a box of a rapidy rapper. But if we talking straight singles of real shit, real life shit, storytelling, Eminem got the better of those two. And if we're like, being honest, he and, got the better of those two. Point. That one that's why I said, what does Jay Z actually do better than him? And this one, rap wise, that one trip, that <laughs> one, consistently on. he make better songs. On, but that's what, consistently, I mean, hold on. But with that, hold on. I like that logic, but that logic goes out the window when we bring up Drake. Yeah, because Drake makes way right. better songs than oh, everybody. No, wait, wait, wait. You everybody. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, wait, no. Wait. And we're talking about song creation. Hold on, listen, I agree. Yeah, I'm yeah. not disagreeing. When I always so have said that Drake, makes Drake's the goat. I've Drake's said, the goat. Dude. He make better songs than everybody. When it comes to being an artist, I put Drake up there. But when it comes to being a, a rapper or whatever, maybe not so much. Just because he got exposed for not writing on hold, his hold bars. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, that's the only issue. If what we're saying is is that what makes Jay Z better is he's better at crafting songs. He's better because we. Let's be honest. With a lot of Jay Z songs, it's the consistency, the longevity. With a lot of Jay Z songs, that add to it as well. Drake got all that. With a lot of Jay Z songs, them shits is done before he even get in the studio. Mm -hmm. Swiss and them craft them shits before he even get there. Jay Z in certain verses. You saw how Magna Carta and all of those albums were put together. Jay Z come in insert verse. Them songs are done. The 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 choruses and shit already done. Mm -hmm. So we talking about writers and shit. He got a little bit of that Drake shit too. Where the song is done for him, he come in and uh, insert we're talking verse. about verses. Ain't nobody writing ver his verses. What, what, That's still, he does hold on. Better than we're, him. we're talking about song creation. You right. said songwriting, right. so Drake does that better than everybody. Drake got exposed for other niggas writing his verses. Yeah, but listen, That's he, the point. What he's trying to say is what Sleepy's trying to say is a lot. He, of know, songs, he know what I'm trying to say. What, what Sleepy's <laughs> trying to say is a lot of songs Jay Z don't even create. Drake has been known before. That's I the point. Exposure. Both of them don't right, create a whole right. lot of their content. Like, Other people create it and they come in right, and Drake insert verse, been, tinker with verses. What he's saying is that nobody has ever pinned a verse for Jay Z. We don't. We could, don't know that to be factual. Be but what we do know is that Jay has let people create songs for right, him, and, and he Drake, come in and put Drake the verses. Drake is known for creating. You don't, so you don't think Eminem done that? No. At he all? don't produce no. music to do that. Like, who? Have you heard any courses from him that sound like he let somebody else I create mean, that shit? This shit don't be good enough and, that he oh, would allow. Yeah. And what I'm trying to, and what <laughs> I'm you trying ever heard to a course from him where you was like, damn, that was like he I'm did it. No, say, he definitely did the right, course. What I'm trying to say about his one <laughs> trick. Man, what I'm trying to say about his one <laughs> trick is when you master that one trick that Eminem has done. Most, most, like you said, Steph Curry's mastered the three. When you master that one trick that he's done, doing everything else is easy. Like, making songs about your personal life, it's hard as fuck to do what Eminem do. Because if it was that easy, everybody it's would hard, do it. It's hard to do a lot of different things right. in hip-hop. But what I'm saying, like, you know, making, just because make, Just because you're a specialist in one like, area don't necessarily make make you just automatically a, a no, better I, well, or, see, or elite who, who, but or I, I don't like, like this that. whole I don't like this whole specialist route that you're taking right, because it's just it's really untrue in both cases like you'll say all right Steph Curry he's like a shooter like dude the two hold on the two years that he won MVP he led the league in points in the paint like you're like you want to put these people in a box so it fits your argument better but it's just the it's reason, sim the hold on it's, si it's simply untrue you can't be a all right, well, he just mostly he a specialist at shooting, but he led the league in, in points in paint as a fucking point guard. Listen, like, dude, the that's reason, more the points in the paint said, than LeBron. The reason I said that is because he's not breaking records for points he in the paint. He is breaking but records for three. Even but he's scoring more in the let paint than LeBron. Me, listen, man, he's not breaking records for scoring in the paint. That's why I said specialist in the three-point aspect because he's breaking records in that area. He's going down as the GOAT in that area no matter what happens. That's right. all I'm so, saying. So, hold on. He got that. Yeah, anybody, hold on. He got that. Hold on. Score he's an amazing three-point point shooter yeah. and he's still scoring more points in the paint than everybody else during them MVP seasons okay so it's not fair to call him like put him in that box that's and like be like saying, this is what he that's do like, like he Eminem, actually does that's everything like, that's but like, he does one thing at god that's level that's like saying Eminem is the best technical rapper but he also a dope producer you know I, I get that I mean it's the I mean, same thing it's, it's adding up to the scoring to the paint thing okay but once again Producing ain't the best thing he do. So right. he's not going down. He's not being known for this. Nobody going to remember Steph Curry for scoring in the paint. But people are going to remember Stan 
and that's not rapidy rap. Yeah, I love it. Listen, yeah, the way I am, that's that's not right, rapidy first, rap. Sing for the moment ain't rapidy rap. This ha- this how I am with anybody. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times I come off as hating or I don't like something. You as definitely much be hating. Is I, whatever. I, mean, I hate when people you. be. Over, be I don't like when people. Listen, I don't like yeah. when people. Yeah, you good. Right. I don't like when people overhype shit. I've been that way ever since I was a little kid. Right? I don't think you mind like, it when it's Jay Z though, because I you've been my friend for a really long oh, time. That ain't true. When four 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 came out, I didn't hear none of that. Hold on, I'm gonna let you finish. Hold on. When the Carters came out, I didn't hear none of that. I haven't even heard the whole Carter CD. That's good. that's good honesty. Go ahead and say what you. I didn't like even say. listen to 444 when it first came out. Okay, okay. right away. Mm-hmm. I'm not like super die hard. I used to hate. So what does that mean on, about listen, you? Listen, I used to hate. <laughs> I used to hate on Jay Z. I used to think Eminem. I, I used to think Eminem was way better than Jay Z. I know until, I was, until you got in your pro black a, bag. And you got in your pro black bag, and now we had it to it. I want you to finish. You got in your pro black bag, and then you always tell you what I think. Let me finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want you to finish. Always thought. Always since I was a shorty, whatever, growing up, always thought Tupac was the best. So I always hated Biggie a little bit, hated Jay Z a little bit because they was his rivals. Still, I had to give Nas respect because he was so good. Jay Z wasn't so good back then, so it was easy to dismiss him. Only reason I start giving Jay Z credit is just the longevity. Like I can't deny it. It ain't that I think he the best in one given year or whatever the case may be. It's the longevity. Dude been great for so long. You can't right. deny that. That's, That's a skill in itself. Right. Even though we saying he ain't a beast and this, that, and the third and the He's same smart. in the same yeah. technical way Eminem may be when it comes to like moving words around, but it's hard as hell to be this good in the game for that long. That's so you can't undercut or underplay undercut somebody that, that ain't uh a supreme lyricist, but like that's the only way see, to be skillful. That's what you're as missing. a rapper. That's what you're missing. It, it just depends we, on really what you, you can get. be elite in Hold different on. ways. But, but, but it depends on what like, you give a it's fuck about. It's just like about. in sports, just like in Madden, you got all these different categories that make your player ninety nine right, or right. whatnot. You can't just act like lyricism is it, and that's but all. But that it matters. depends on what like, you give a fuck about. Like I'm a consumer of music. I don't give a fuck how long this nigga right. been relevant. Right. I'm a consumer of music. I listen to you do. I listen to what's dope. So you mean to tell me in the all time rankings, he not ranked higher because of that? Dude, listen. Well, because, because content, of the longevity? For, for me, no. I, adds to for it. me, no. I just I think he's an amazing rapper. Like, right. you don't think he's a great rapper. I think he's a, 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 a Jay-Z. I think, he a I think he's rapper. an elite rapper. That's why that's why he don't mind. He's an elite rapper. Right, I don't give a fuck how long. Because to just, me, he really hasn't been that relevant music-wise. He's just really smart, and he keep himself out right. there and shit. But his albums, they're not fucking great. But that's he ain't really had a great album since the black album. That's a skill in itself. I know, but as a consumer of music. It's not just influence. That's something his agent would give a fuck Leo, about. As a Leo, consumer of music, your, I don't care about that. I care about the actual music, right. not how long he been relevant right. and shit. I, mean, I don't get nothing out of that. What you saying is like... The music no, is still on, good, though. But yeah, it's not yeah, great. It's That's good. all I'm saying. Yeah. It's still good. He yeah. get credit for that. Right. That's hard yeah. for a 50-year-old nigga to still be dom- yeah, I agree with that. dominating in That's many true. ways yeah. in hip-hop. That's true. I agree with that. Super but what, what, but what you're saying is like, it's almost like if Michael Jordan was still hooping, you're like, oh, he's still the GOAT because he's hanging around. Like, dude, he putting up numbers. just hanging around. But he's putting up numbers. But what I'm saying is like, when you sit here and say discredit Jay-Z. When have we discredited Jay-Z? We don't. The I that nigga on my goat. Hold on, it's the same thing. No, when have no, I discredited no, Eminem? Just because I'm, I'm about not to tell saying you. the same thing. That's all you've been doing on social media for the last week. What bad have I said about it? What bad have I said about Eminem? Hold on, let me get on it. That's all you've been doing all week. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Let me talk. Talk to him, man. Let's talk about it. MGK boy. Let's talk about it. Listen, man. You, 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 be real. Have you fully listened to the Kamikaze album? All the way through. You coughed a little bit. I have. Don't perp. I have. We'll find out. He don't came. Me, he came, don't make me run he, a test on you. I mean, I ain't know I had to memorize. No, the I'm not. No, okay, I just want to make sure you ain't you being know? biased. Okay, but like, what I'm saying is, like, dude, I usually don't speak on shit unless I hear about right. it. Right. I mean, people do though. You just said you ain't you ain't listened to some of Jay Z's albums. I, I people, didn't speak okay, on it. Good. Good. Okay, I wasn't well, speaking right. on 444 and well, the Carters. I'm sure well, if I go back on my day, do it. Do it. Do it. I'm sure you did. Leo, man, you you tend to like you made a post like when it dropped. You said you made it seem like the album was overhyped, right? You made it seem like it was you overhyped. hadn't even heard it, right? You made it seem like it was overhyped. <laughs> like, dude, you know what I feel I was like speaking you, on the fans, not the music. No, but but, but you're a fan. But you want to know if it was right, uh, right. Uh, uh, overhyped? That you hadn't even heard it. No, it's the it's the it's the, it's the, it's the shift <laughs> like, that no, I'll be speaking and, uh, on. But it ain't even the fact that you said how it was you go from ass to hold being hold the on, goat time again. Out, time out, just with your one project. That's, yeah. that's what I'm speaking. That's subjective, though. Let me. You didn't just say. That the album was overhyped. You didn't even hold on. You said white people are happy that Eminem is back, and I felt you felt like that they was just they they wasn't woke. You said something about them not being woke. No, huh. I'll tell you exactly what I, I said. I can go back to your post. I said I know how white dudes feel when Black Panther came out, right? Because niggas was acting like the movie okay. was greater than what it was, right? 
Even though, so, like, acting so like it was the greatest so movie of all time, even though it was good. The movie was pretty good. But translation. But it ain't the greatest movie hold on, hold on, of all time. I don't think anybody said that. Niggas was acting like that shit was they like. They was. They were, but hold on. Everything. I but mean, it broke all the goddamn records. But that it was don't pretty make it fucking great, good. That but Leo, that don't make Leo, it the great It does, though. If everybody's running out to see it and everybody yeah, likes it, that does make it great. The quality, though. The quality. But Leo, but Leo. So, Black but, Panther, the greatest black film of all time? I don't think anybody said that but ever. Leo, though. what I'm saying. Who what, said that? Leo, what I'm saying is. Who said it's the greatest Leo, what black I'm film of all time? It's a Marvel movie. Your whole point. ain't got no plot for real. So, niggas weren't acting like that was the greatest shit since sliced bread when that came out? It was a great movie, man. Man. Leo, but what, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I what, what your metaphor was was pri- tr- basically trying to say that people was and gassed. it was kind of joke, dude. People was but, hyping it. That's dude, what you're saying. People what you're trying to say was the album was gassed, and at that time I don't even think you heard the full album, but it doesn't matter. You were basing it upon because you kept seeing it on your timeline. You were saying, okay, here go another Eminem album. They gassing Eminem. They hyped it. He back. That's what you're trying to. That's, that's, that's not what I'm well, trying to say. You, you shaking the narrative. I just said it. I was this. First of all, it's three things. First, I speak in a very cryptic way. I don't know if y'all. Oh my god! Just tell us what you're trying to say. And all, I just said it a second ago. I was speaking on the shift. How you go from one album, you just, you you even did it yourself. Dude. You knocked the motherfucker down. He wasn't even your favorite rapper no more. Mm. You were just talking about that like a month ago. Yeah. And then he dropped this album, which ain't his greatest work. And now he all of a sudden the goat again. Like I was speaking. I mean, on, it's it's, on it's, that. it's one and two. I was my, it's, on that. And then it's oh, one and two. My nigga, on. Kamikaze was better than the Carters. Hold on. And then the other it's simple. I, I wasn't even talking about the Carters. I was talking about <laughs> no, Eminem's. I'm saying, last I'm saying going from you, know, you brought up me and going from one to two. No, I'm talking about from the Eminem's. Carters came no, out. No, Kamikaze no. came out. Eminem shifted back up. Jay Z shifted back down. I just feel like one project shouldn't create that much. When of you a that shift. close though, when Jay Z and Eminem are as close, because it's always been Jay Z and Eminem. Nas ain't really in the conversation. So until these niggas honest. die, you gonna keep like changing the no, rankings? He if like they keep bring, no, and shit, listen, like, if they ah, keep bringing, go, if yeah, they keep like, bringing out music, <laughs> because it's that close. Jay Z and Eminem, these are like the two ghosts. You these judge are these, these are the two people. They primes though, like that's how I look. If at we brought them, Eminem better than him in his prime. It ain't even close in the prime. They actually did songs. They actually did a song together, and he swallowed that nigga. At some point, if we talking prime, Eminem better than him. At some point, like. The current shit don't matter no See, more. See, ain't the fact that he wants, that he want to do prime now. When his whole argument about Jay Z was this longevity. longevity, yeah, because right. his prime was just longer. I mean, and I'm taking his whole career into account, just like I'm taking Eminem's whole career. His prime career was into just longer. Really want to do rap like LeBron's? His prime was just longer than the average player. Who? Jay Z. That's yeah. all. I, I mean, but his content is great. But what I'm trying to say is, like Leo, what we get out of you. Is the, your problem with Eminem? Is you 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 like Eminem? I don't think I'm racist. No, no, I don't think you're racist. Hold on, let me say let me say this. When it comes to Eminem, I think it hurts you that a white dude could be the thank best you, rapper. Thank you, thank it, you. In a, in a black sport, I think that bothers that, you. It, does, it, 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 it bothers you for the same reason. For, for the same reason, you don't believe in aliens because you believe that takes credit away from ancient that, black that's people. That's not true. That is true. Because you, Leo, Leo, because you've said as much to me, Leo, Leo. Because you have said as much to me in real life. Hey, Leo, I don't make this shit. I remember we were sitting out we were sitting outside of the sleep study thing and you actually said to me I feel like with the alien stuff that takes credit away from ancient you've said that to me with your own mouth that, outside of the thing that doesn't mean, I didn't make that up and Leo oh, you, you he, said it he snatched my words but, but I was I've been had the floor y'all niggas didn't sidetrack I just need to address their point because he keep bringing Go it ahead. up like hell if I you said that it. listen you can feel a way about something and that's not necessarily the source of your feeling what I mean by see once again speaking okay, cryptic man, what good. I mean by this is ain't nobody got time for that say what you mean you a grown up say what you mean with all the crypticness just say what you mean because it sounds like an out to me uh, when your shit get taken the wrong way then you say I didn't mean it that way right. that's what it sounds like this, listen nigga shut up let okay. me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe that the alien hype Right. Does take away from things that ancient Africans or whatever right. you want to call like them may have done, right? That's not the reason I don't believe in aliens, though. I mean, how could you believe in aliens after saying that? I don't believe in aliens because I don't see any proof of aliens. That has nothing. I mean, you to don't do. see all, you don't see a proof of a lot of shit you believe in. I believe I don't like what. Like any fucking thing, uh, our our reality. Uh, if this, if any of this shit is real, you see, still believe? I can see y'all though, like in in the flesh. I can touch you. That makes it more real than just a guess or a theory type of thing. You know. Listen, man. I mean, that's, fuck that, all the aliens and like, shit. We, I'm just saying. We, we, we based that on, on what he just snatched nothing. out of my mouth. It's true, Leo. You have a bias against Eminem because he's white and he's doing better than. And, and this is what I'm saying. You want you want the leaders of the forefront to be people. Of your color, but let me ask you something. Let me say, let me just—if you care about hip hop, because I care about hip hop. All right, the leaders of our forefront right now. This is why it's called white on white crime today, and this is a good white on white crime. Yeah, I like. This. All right, the leaders of our hip hop right now. All right, 
are the J. Coles, the Kendricks, and stuff like that. J. Cole hasn't been putting out what we really want to hear. The conscious rap is not something you want to hear all the time. It's kind of boring, man. We need more to that. But now, really, the faces of our hip-hop are kids like Yachty. Um, all these young Uzi cats. Like, Vert. Right, okay. They're not helping Migos. our culture. I don't care about your color. I care about your, your skill level. Eminem okay. helping our culture? Rap call. Listen, listen, raping his listen. mother and his wife. That's his life. Hold on. Hold on. I'm what's just saying. Hold on. I mean, Wait, why can't they like be their life? I mean, that's Leo. Life is his Leo. Life. That's like, right, that's like Leo. writing a Leo. book. You know that shit ain't real. Leo, Come please, on now. please let me shit, finish. Man. Please let me finish. Listen, because that's just a slight that you're throwing. Because cause if you want, just side note, if you want to say that Jay Z doesn't help us talk about selling drugs, none of our hip hop. Hold on. It's You really want to talk about it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. how to button up, though. Let's talk about it. He's teaching niggas how to fuck up their communities. is what he's doing. The whole point of music, the whole point of music, it doesn't have to be positive all the time it's, right. it's like writing a book it's, it's something that you like okay what right. i'm saying is why don't white culture right now when have we had right now we had three i'm 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 fans of all three of these cats g easy i've been a fan before it, it like i've yeah. been a fan I, I know it's out no i'm talking about me i'm talking about me i like i, I like g easy right. I, I i told him he, to he listen to g easy album he listened to it because he went into it he like the white whiz khalifa don't matter what he's he a like. much better rapper than like, what i'm saying is i've always been a fan he of mgk i've been a yeah, fan of mgk lace up and the eminem like i said he's the goat these three guys right Joe here, Button even. they just gave us a, they just gave us a, a great week and a, something to talk about hip hop, real hip hop, real hip hop. Like, and then you go Competitive to these, you look at these new school cats, and this is why I say you spoke of Quavo, my nigga. Like, not trying to knock you, but you can't, you can't. Say Quavo be saying some shit and then say Eminem. Hold on, and you can't. Hold on, don't say Quavo be saying some shit. Dude, listen, we I think he said Offset be saying. Hold on, it doesn't matter. You said something. Yeah, actually, same shit. It's a difference. Yesterday on IG, he said Offset got bars. Hold on, hold on. He said by modern day, by modern day trash rap standards, and there's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is, he rap on songs with Lil Yachty. You listen to the two. Come on, man. Hold on, I have a point. What I'm trying to say. I don't care if it's Quavo, Offset, whatever them niggas. You given, you said, you said one of those Migo niggas. Have said some good shit, but then when you hear Eminem, you say trash. Listen, he's. When not, did I say Eminem was trash, B? When did I say that? said it before the podcast. Said. You said you said revival was trash, and I'll tell you this: there's nothing in revival that he said this trash. Like it's way comparable any, to Offset. Any of them niggas, okay? So if you can find entertainment in them, you can I find. I wasn't even comparing them. But this I know, but you can't say oh, Offset got bars and then revival is trash. You, you That's nonsense. You can't. We gotta, yeah. y'all gotta, you gotta stop doing something. No, first you, of all, no, listen. You, it's like saying I'm saying, oh. Nothing uh, Eminem on, does is trash. That's like Offset saying the Blair Witch. Hold on, that's like talking movies, right? Right, right. I'm like, oh, the Blair Witch Project was a good movie, and okay. here you come. So that was better than Forrest Gump. Like, damn, nigga, I'm just no. saying it's a good movie. That don't mean it got. If you said Forrest Gump was trash, yeah, yes. But I didn't say Eminem was trash. You, you said, said Revival, Revival was trash. trash. We just went over that. But Tom Hanks do have trash no, movies. Most of them not though. Forrest, did you say Forrest Gump was trash in, in your thing that you just said? No, I, I, I no. If well, I then that's going to counter that way. I said something else. That's the huge difference. I'm gonna get you again. I'm gonna get you again. <laughs> Nigga, verbatim on Facebook, you said Ice Cube was overrated. I Ice Cube to, is overrated. You should kill yourself. I, you don't Twice. Think, you don't think Ice Cube overrated? You are insane. Overrated, man. You are so, insane. Hold on, I mean, he like the guy of the tell me this gangster rap. Hold on, where do y'all rank Ice Cube then? Just tell Dude, me. This. I, I don't rank him high. Right, he's not because of his skill level. But, he old. Okay, that's what I, I'm saying. I don't rank Run that's DM, what I'm saying. But hold on, but a that's lot of niggas rank Ice Cube high. Hold on, to say that he's not a great lyricist, I didn't say he wasn't. He said he's No, no, he is overrated. Hold up, to, to me, say he's not a great lyricist is not to say that he's overrated. I feel like he get the respect that he should. He basically <laughs> he basically the architect of gangster rap. Like, he did that. Like, NWA, that's all Ice Cube. Like, he did that. Now, if we talk about is he I'm, like a I'm dope lyricist in 2018, of course he's I'm not, not a dope lyricist in 2018. What's a better way I can put this? It's like eating bologna. Saying this shit is this shit bomb. Like, wait, good. Then get some <laughs> steak. Get some steak. I don't care what type of steak it is. Man, I don't know. This steak. Like this you're, steak you're, you're you're putting a, a harder skill on the really hard stuff to do. But then you're like uplifting the simple shit. It's like first it's, of all, it, it is, man. Nah, you it's, take you taking what I no, say totally I'm, I'm out of context. I can enjoy. Context. Yes, it is because you making something mean more than what I'm even saying. I'm based it, on what you say. Once Leo. again, I can enjoy. He this, talk cryptic. Listen, I can enjoy listening to just because I enjoy listening to. I Migo. enjoy listening uh, to bullshit too, Leo. I listen to. I listen to a so lot. So I'm shit. supposed to take what you? No. You said this was a good no, song or that was a good. Leo. That was good. No. Did that mean that's better than Nas or something? Did I say? Hold on. You just went on this whole little rant about me acting like Quavo or Amigo was better than Eminem or something, but I never. Never said never nothing said even that. close to that. You're not even getting that. I'm that's not the that. narrative you trying no, to create. No, that's not the narrative. The narrative of what I'm saying is you can appreciate any type of music, Leo. I can appreciate stuff from Migos, believe you it sure? or not. 
Leo, you don't even know what I listen to, bro. I listen to all types of music. What I'm trying to say is I can appreciate all types of music for what they is because everybody has their own genre. What I don't go do, though, is listen to the elite type of music and say that it's trash. I won't say Quavo and them is trash because I know that they have their own realm. But I won't go over to the music like Ice Cube and Eminem. And That's really say, hard to right, do. And then say that they're trash. I'll, it's two different things. I can listen to, like, because I can go into, it's easy to go into Quavo and them music and be like, man, I don't feel this shit. This shit whack as fuck. No. Right. Because technically it is whack as fuck, but I know what they're doing. It they're is. entertainers. Right. But I don't sit there and listen to their stuff because this is what you do. You'll listen to their stuff, which is really the whack as fuck shit. You're like, man, that shit go hard, though. That really go hard. But then the really good stuff that's really hard, you'll listen to that on a harder scale and be like, man, that was all right. That's what I'm trying to say, Leo. I'm not saying that you don't appreciate what Eminem do. You grade them at a higher scale, and you don't no. understand. Well, the guys he grade on a lower scale are black guys. No, I judge. That, that makes it worse. Listen, shut the Glad you up. said. That makes Listen. it worse. <laughs> Glad you said it. it. I, judge, <laughs> I judge things. I judge things in the realm that they exist. When I'm talking about Eminem, my the man, only reason I may the only reason I may rate an Eminem album like Revival or something like that low is because I'm comparing him against himself. Yeah, and I other, never let me finish. That's I'm unfair, comparing man. him against himself and other elite MCs. I'm not gonna act like Revival is is the shit just because it's better than the Migo album. That's stupid because I'm comparing it to the Marshall Mathers LP. You feel right, what I'm? Leo, that's what it is. I understand that. I'm not. Hold on. So don't act like. Beyond, like if Beyonce, if Jay Z, look at Jay Z for example. We talking about Jay Z. I'm not gonna act like Magna Carta, Holy Grail is better than b the Blueprint just because it's better than the Migos. Trash. You said nothing bad about Jay Z. You have ever. You're, you're Hold on. I don't like the Kingdom Come album. I used to say that shit was never, trash all the time. Oh, it's yeah, not trash. To me, compared to Jay Z standards, I don't think it's that great of an album. Dude, all you say is negative shit about Eminem, bro. Gotcha. And the only reason why you like MGK right now is because he's slighting Eminem. Yes. You know, you're not an MGK fan. Yes. You don't, you don't I, know. I, too. I admit that. Right. Listen, so it's, it's I need just, you to I be honest that. about like, what cool. you do. Just I like a honest. couple MGK Be so. honest. Name an MGK we both that wasn't we... pop, hip hop. Track. Don't name Wild Boy and none of his shit. Name one from Lace Up. Give me something he from Lace Up. I like that did sale. You, I like he rapped on that sale. That's name sale. the song he did with a DMX. Did you know he did a song with DMX? <laughs> no, like I did. DMX show. did I? Hold on, but did I? I never said it was. A, I even said it on your Facebook recently. I'm not well, an right. MGK fan. Right, exactly. Yeah. I'm but not even trying to portray to be. You was fucking with that disc though. That shit go hard. It go hard because I it's say against Eminem. That guess shit, what? It don't, that don't sound good. The yeah. beat hard, the flow hard. He has some decent bars. It go hard. MGK, MGK was great. He, he, this is he the did best a good job. He's ever, any Eminem has ever had. Shout out but, to MGK. But he's gained a lot of fans who didn't even know. I read comments. People are like, I didn't even know who MGK was before this. And that's sad because Eminem giving him light. But what I'm saying is you're more happy that someone's coming to Eminem. It's proven, man. You never it's say entertaining. anything. entertaining. No, it's entertaining because it's Eminem. And, and uh, like just to go on another side note, Joe Button. I see a lot of people now jumping on Joe Button bandwagon. Oh, my. Please, this nigga been please, amazing. Please, what are we talking please, about I've here? Been liking please, Joe please Button, two though. things. If you know Joe Button from Love and Hip Hop, pump it up. And I'm going to add a third thing. Or if you call him Joe Buttons, please don't fuck with yeah, my nigga. You throw the he ass is, on there? He is hands down my favorite rapper. Yeah. I listen to him every day. Eminem is the greatest rapper to me. Like, and it's it's kind of weird for me when they conflict it. I would wish Joe Button would basically go ahead and diss this dude. Joe Button don't I'm, do, I'm, I'm, Joe Button don't do things Button. lyrically that I feel like I can't do. Right. Eminem and Royce do things that I know well, I can't. I feel do. like if they, if, if, if like my brain don't even work that way, right. but I feel like I could do what Joe Button right. does. If you give me that type of beat and I get in my uh, introspective yeah. bag, mm -hmm. I can make those types of songs. It's really moody. My and brain dark. can't work the way that yeah. Eminem and Royce brain it's work. It's just too many napkins. Yeah, it's just it's too much. It's too much <laughs> wordplay. They they they, they <laughs> know too many <laughs> words. Yeah, I, believe, I can't do it. I, I believe that if if Joe Button actually picked up the pen and dissed Eminem because they impressed by the MGK stuff. Joe Button's body of work of dissing people has it ain't been that. It's just you like seeing somebody smack the shit out the no, bully sometimes. No, no. That's all I feel it like is. For me, he always run around well, bullying little uh, TRL bitches and shit. It feel yeah, good to see somebody listen, slap listen, his ass listen, sometimes. First off, you, you talk about shit from year first 1999 off, I'm saying just in general, <laughs> right? Just period. First off, period. This nigga ain't been talking for like 10 years well, straight. This nigga so live in the bubble. So we don't even talk. It's not entertaining to see people go back and forth. I like the tango. This shit get boring sometimes. Right, but, but, but guess what happened? Guess, guess what's going to happen? This rap period. I like when Oh, yeah, that's what Chris said. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what all this has done. For me, the greatest this would be for Joe Button to pick up the mic and go. And if you're impressed by MGK, if Joe Button pick up that mic, Eminem's in trouble. I'm impressed by the willingness. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, I mean, he ain't got nothing to lose, I mean, nigga. His like, last dude, album sold like, fifteen thousand. He, he, he ain't got nothing to lose. He did, yeah, he did a great job. job. He I got mean, that fifteen thousand. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say willingness, <laughs> which is why Joe Button hasn't done it because he's in a situation. He's that. in a situation to where he could get hurt. Yeah. It can hurt what he's doing right now. That's why he hasn't done it. MGK ain't got shit to lose. Right. So fifteen thousand on his last. He's like, fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? And on top of that, if the goat of rap come at you. 
you if you lay down, you you die. Like you don't you lose fans. You gotta and, stop being so sensitive when they come to Eminem. Motherfuckers ain't ooh. gotta kiss his ass online twenty four seven. Oh, you oh, just yeah. you oh, just oh, be, you oh, just oh, be salty. That don't oh, equal, that don't oh, equal oh, hating. You, oh, you be salty. You still haven't. Are you talking you about still me? Ha- just both of y'all seem. To, I'm not sensitive about Eminem. I'm, I'm, hold I'm, on, y'all acting like I dissed them, and I'm hating. I ain't said not one bad. I don't give a fuck for real. I haven't said one bad thing about him. Not one bad thing. Let's get something straight real quick. One. Let's get something straight real quick. I think you had three posts about it, and all of them were shade. Hold on. Let me, let me get something straight. Well, hold on. I looked. I looked. I looked, thing about I looked. I you had three posts about his album oh. coming out, and all three were shade. You just seem salty. Nigga. I told you that online. You just seem really salty. Nigga, I've been, nigga, I I've been watching you. I've been, I've, been, I've been post watching you because you only come out on certain Wait, things. Too many hold on, hold on, nigga. You, be, you, only come out, you only come out on certain things. You be on Facebook, but when you really adamant about something, you come out on certain things, and this Eminem thing hyped you. Let me tell you something. Too many hold on, let me tell you something. Who do you think I think won in this battle with Eminem and MGK? You think Eminem won by default. Nigga. Sleep. Who did I tell Fuck you won this battle? MGK. MGK easily won this shit. I mean, Eminem M- 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 ain't really write right a song M- M- about it. Hold on, Eminem's M- diss is coming like out. Like a piece of a M- verse. M- 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 Listen, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not biased when it comes to hip-hop, dude. No matter what you want, I'm a hip-hop elitist, and people hate art. Listen, I don't, I don't talk about conspiracies and shit like that. I don't talk about shit I don't know. One thing niggas can't talk to me about, I'm pol- political with hip-hop. Niggas ain't gonna be able to argue with me about hip-hop. Unless you this nigga. Like, like, like I'm a student of the game. You know why I say I'm a student that of the game? That don't make you right. Dude, listen. This motherfuckers go to listen, school all listen, the time listen, and keep listen, fucking it's like, out. It's like, it's like, hold on, nigga. nigga I, I have things to back my shit. Like, the, the, the you main, all over the place. How am I over? You talking about I said Quavo better than Eminem. I ain't said not one thing. He say that. Damn wow. near, though. When he say That's, that? What's the, the narrative he creating? Well, the narrative that he creating is, is you, hold up, you sitting in your car rocking like a motherfucker to offset. But then you what? got hold up. Then you got all the smoke for revival. That's just nonsense. I didn't have it no don't even smoke make for revival. He said I'm all. You over just said it was shitty before we got right. here. Exactly. My Eminem standards are so. You all right, hold on, hold on. So okay, so you are saying that you because you, you keep flip flopping. I said I judge him against himself. Okay, but when you, I judge him, I'm judging him against his best work, the Marshall Mathers LP. Compared okay, to the Marshall Mathers LP, not, do you see how nonsensical? Do you see how nonsensical that is? You are judging him against. Well, probably the best album to ever come out. That that that's shitty in itself. Like you stacking a deck against them to begin with. That's like me judging fucking Aerosmith or whatever fucking great rock against their most classic shit. Everything is gonna pale into comparison. Ooh, I'm stacking a hot. deck purposely. You know what I'm saying? Like I, purposely, you stack the deck know. so every you everything keep, will always saying, fall <laughs> beneath that. That's the point. You keep God saying. Down, I mean, you just said you just said I'm that's all over. A, that's you the just point. Said, I mean, you just said I'm all over, man. Now you're trying to use the mechanism because he passed. Exactly. Trying to make something right, in right. this I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I've been doing that. I've been doing it for a long time. Hold on. When you catch hold on. When you catch somebody or something, they try to flip. They try to say you ain't. They try to flip it. They try to flip it. You keep saying it. Because he passed Did it scare you? Right. Relax. Relax. I'm bad. I'll bring it down. You good? Don't relax. You know what? Because he feel like I was all over the place and said that my opinion in hip hop. First, you all over the place, and then I'm too loud. Right. My thing about hip hop. You said you was too loud. Come on, man. My thing about hip hop. You said you was too loud. Come on, man. My thing about hip hop. You said you was too loud. Come on, man. My thing about hip hop. My thing about hip hop. Come on, man. 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 My thing and there's people who feel like they know more about hip hop because they have content. Look, there's a lot of stuff about hip hop, a lot of albums and people that you've listened to that I should listen to that I have. I have not dove into every one of Pac's albums, believe it or not. That shit, me neither. I love that. Tupac. Don't mean that but you're you a student. I don't know shit you about know Tupac. You're listening, you know, but you're a student. You know, you're a student of hip hop, but you I'm ain't dove into Tupac I'm albums. You, I said all of them. I'm gonna tell you why I'm a student. Shit, I have. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you why I'm a student because guess what? It comes down to this. I'm an artist of hip hop, nigga. My music, I've made music. I stepped in and I, I've become, and my music has moved people. And I, and hold I, hold on, do you know how much we love hip hop? We love hip hop so much even that we became better than ninety five percent of the people right. who even we looked up that. to. Y'all That's how much we love. I don't love it enough to listen to Tupac listen, albums. Listen, listen, I, got, I got a whole album. I got a whole album <laughs> dedicated how? to Tupac. I'm, t- I'm telling you right now. I got a whole listen, album Leo, dedicated to li- Tupac. Listen, Leo, this is how I'm gonna start. This is how I'm gonna start. Listen, this is how I'm gonna start. I learned this from Joe Button. I learned this from Joe Button on his podcast. I'm about to tell you right now. I learned this from Joe Button in his podcast the other day. It showed me something. Being humble in hip hop is a fucking piece of shit. Cause you know I've always been humble when I rap. Truth be told, See, that I was you. Uh, I was, I was okay, never that nigga. Finish. Talk your finish. shit, Chris. I was never let that nigga. As, when, Joe Button, <laughs> when Joe Button went on there yesterday and said, you know what, for real, for real, I'm better than you, Eminem. A lot of people felt like that was disrespectful, but he was right. Content-wise, Joe Button's better than Eminem. He's better than Eminem. And guess what? He, he was for sure. He don't want You don't want to disrespect your fa- forefathers. You know what I'm saying? A, a perfect example, Jadakiss and Styles. People would say Jadakiss and Styles is dope.
dope. They were not better than me and Sleep. No, they're me not. and Sleep would destroy Jada Kiss and Style. It would and be this, easy. And too. this is what I should start doing to my fellow I have rap to brothers. Hold on, hold on, disagree. Hold on, and that's fine. That that's would be cool. easy. That's, too. that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. You basing them off of status. But guess what? Pen game, they ain't never said nothing that was better than me and Sleep. They don't have an album. And, they don't and, have an album and, better than and, QCB. And, and, and honestly, me and Sleep at our height. And we did that shit in a month. At our height, bar wise. In a month. People don't like arrogance. And this is what I should start doing. With no income. And this is what I should start doing to my fellow my fellow rap. together in the studio. This is what I should start doing to my fellow rap friends. My fellow local rap friends, this is what I should do because humbleness is kind of a, a thing. You That's been your thing. Right. I've never well, been humble. If I take out them chic verses, I ain't sure that shit better. Time than out. Me I said Jada Kiss and The fact style. that you would even have to. Right. Hold on. Let me, let me finish <laughs> what I'm saying. To make that the let case. Me, let me finish what I said because I do got some rap friends. I got some rap friends that's great, but some of my rap friends, y'all, y'all be smelling yourself because guess what? I'm confident Ooh, in my pen. Hold on. Hold on. I'm confident Talk in my to pen me, man. because this is the problem. Talk like you, to when you, when you an elite rapper and you be humble with niggas, and then sometimes niggas get it misconstrued. And so, so I say I'm a, my opinion in rap matters because I know I can pin this shit. And I know that people across the world who didn't even know me have told me my music inspired them. And it's hard to do what I do, and I know that. And, and for a lot of niggas, y'all critique great rappers. So I say this. If niggas that confident to critique, this is the only way I can kill the argument with niggas. Like, I, I, don't, I won't come out of retirement to rap. But if a nigga really feel like he can rap better than me, challenge a nigga. Make a song. We get, make a song. Tell me you want to make a song. We can go on wax and diss each other. I promise you, nigga. I don't, I, I don't even, I don't even, all niggas who say that, like, niggas, y'all challenge the wrong shit. Stay in your lane, nigga. Like, rap, you allowed to have an opinion. But, but, but know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, it's like, it's like healthiness. You sound I, like them niggas on ESPN. No, nigga, I sound like a nigga who can rap. That's and what I know I'm hip-hop. saying. Like, no, just because, no, 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 just because you're a former it's like, athlete, no, 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 not mean your, your, uh, nigga, your athletic you, opinion, you, your sports you, opinion shit, is the greatest. It means, everything. Uh, it means somebody, it means no, somebody who can't do it at that level like, shouldn't have such an opinion right. on it because like, you can't do it. Right. No, it's it's like could, it could be the Michael no, Jordan thing. Because, you could be a great player, but you can't scout great talent. The fact that you can't do it. It does matter. Hold up. The fact that you can't do it says it's super hard to do. Right. If you can't do it, so how dare you? Have so much to say about a motherfucker who can do it. I when you can't, you know how hard it is because you can't do That's nothing like close to You can't to be it. a great movie critic no, just you because can. you can't be a director no, or no, producer. This is what I'm like, just this because a, you this aren't is, great this in is, said field don't mean you can't be a great this, judge of listen, that. No, that's, I, they don't even do it. He's talking about if you do rap. See, you're a part of I the... Get hold that. On, you're, but I the, get that. Hold on, hold on. But being a movie critic, you're, you're not a director. It's so so, so it don't make out. sense. What you're saying don't make sense. Because, so hold, hold on, he's not a director. I get what you're saying. If you are a rapper, you're, you're a part of the sport. That so you mean... So you know... That's, hold up. It's like a shitty-ass nigga playing on the Lakers bench trying to tell Kobe... If, if what are you doing, good or bad? Like, nigga, you do this and you're not as good. But, so you know how hard it is. But that so what nigga, do you got to say? That shitty nigga on the bench may end up being a better coach. He may understand no, the game no, better, the X's Hold and on, O's. So, so, so you can't act like just because you're a superior athlete or whatever the case may right? be that you automatically have no. that vision. Some people are just gifted naturally. Things come to them naturally. That doesn't necessarily mean so, they're a great judge so, so, of whatever so, the case so what may you be. Said, yeah, like, like Michael so, Jordan. Like Phil He's Jackson. the greatest athlete right. ever, but he a horrible scout of talent. How right. is that possible? This what you would think he would be the best scout of talent because he had the most. Because he that think, every, he think everything should be easy because it's I'm easy for him. It's the same thing when it come to come to some lyricists. They think that they are, they not that good of judging music at times or scouting talent because they they so blindsided or one one track minded. They think being great in one way is the best way in the, or the only way because that's what they do. People always fall back and think what they do or the type of thing that they do is best because if you will, your ego and shit too. But that's not automatically the case. Nope. Just because I, you a better rapper don't make you a better judgment judge of rap. Dude, if I rap, if I... I can agree with that. Uh, what I'm sitting here saying is like, this is how I equate it. Nick Wright, uh, Calhoun. They, they're analysts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're great at what they do. So you mean to tell me if Michael Jordan and Kobe went on a forum and they was talking about... Uh, Basketball stuff, you gonna take Nick Wright and Calhoun's opinion over, over Kobe, uh, Kobe and Jordan? Of no. course, I'm gonna take Jordan exactly. and him, but so, that doesn't necessarily what, automatically what. make Jordan and Wright, though. No, this, this that's all I'm saying. saying. Gives them the better no, but chance this of being say. right. No, but this because they've to say. done it. We see more people at the who, highest level. We see more people who are fans of hip hop who've never tried it. And even when they do try it, they're trash at it. And they critique the ones who try it. Excel, succeed, and do it greater than most people, and they get more criticism. But fans think they know more than what they than, than the person who's done it. It's kind of hard. Well, that's what's wrong it's, with hip hop. That's to, why hip hop is like it is when the way it is. On the sidelines, and oh, he could do this and this, and, but you're not doing with the other person. That's why I sit here and say to have a slight on hands down, like pretty much the greatest lyricist ever to rap. And I'm like, Leo, could you pin what Eminem do? That's all, I, I, Let's just leave it at that. Leo and Eminem, could you do even Revival? Could you make anything close to the words that he does in Revival? Be I, real with yourself. I think so. 
I don't based think you'd be. Upon, a, I, don't, I don't think you'd be a real with yourself. Based upon but hold up, hold up, hold up. But hold up. I don't that, think. He, up, I don't think his wordplay on revival was really all that. Could you do any of his wordplay in general? Like, could you do any of his wordplay in general? Some songs. Yeah. Which ones? <laughs> I have to go write them down. I don't. Napkins, I don't every, not too many naps. I don't think you'd be honest too with yourself. Chaps, but hold up. Napkins. That that bring it back to the whole hip hop. That, that bring it back to the hip hop. Everything he say ain't, ain't haven't been cracked. Like, but I'm be saying, honest. No, it ain't what, been cracked. You acting to, like well, everything to do rap is the best. I'm saying, what I'm trying to say like, is, Leo, what have you done? What can you do close to what Eminem is doing? You, you're critiquing Eminem very hard. That it doesn't not, fucking matter is what I'm saying. Does. I don't have to go make it do matter. this app. No, it, it don't. It does matter. I just went on because this whole you do little, it. I just went on this whole little spiel okay. about judgment of talent just because you do it. And what? Don't try to dismiss my opinion because Eminem is a better rapper opinion. than me. I didn't that's, no, that's what you, once again, that's no, what you, you I'm basically not. challenge me just no. because I can't make better songs no. lyrically than right. Eminem, then that means my opinion That's not matter. what I said. You're saying Eminem stuff is trash. So what I'm asking you is, Leo, is you being an artist, if you can't do if you can't done. do it what anybody, is that what, anybody that can make about, trash what, anybody can make what trash. is what does that make your music if you can't do anything close to it it could be trash i'm not saying okay. i can't make trash anybody can okay. make trash okay what makes me any different what makes him any different you're critiquing him he's not critiquing so fucking what he don't know me if he knew me, he you would don't have, know him. He would have it's the right, but if he heard my music, he would have the right to critique it. That's but that's what he, people do. Everybody, that's what people do. Listen, it doesn't make my point invalid nobody. just because he great. Well, I feel like your point is invalid because of the racial aspect. Everything that you comes down to oh a racial God. aspect. But that's I feel horrible. like I feel like the that's biggest horrible. How could you simply, Leo? You that? are who you are, bro. Listen, How do the, you feel the, the whole that? point is like, with, listen, we're hip hop. Because it's an easy thing to do. Like you don't have to have any special talent to do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody got such a fucking uh, opinion. Uh, an opinion. See, but you don't have this shit with rock music don't. to that extent. I yeah. disagree. Uh, no, I, disagree. I just said to that extent. You don't you don't see motherfuckers online arguing about rock music on a daily basis. Let's be honest. Back in the day they did. They Come had on, to create like, they had to create sub genres because man, they used everything, to argue everything, about the shit everything everything so got much. sub genres, even even religion. Everything Officially though. Everything Rap don't officially got stuff. Leo, do you see people arguing about rock like you do hip hop? It's a, it's a simple question, man. Not at this moment. Okay, all right. I already all right, answered that all right. question. Just it, a second. It, even ago. back then, where were they doing it? Nigga, won't even know fucking forums and shit. So back you can then. ask Jerry. Jerry will tell you that it was white dudes listen, arguing listen, about. Listen, I didn't say they didn't. I said to that extent. Listen, don't try to twist it. I said to that extent what people do in hip hop. Because for one, you have to have a talent of music in order to do rock. Like, you got to know how to at least strum some shit. You know what I'm saying? In hip hop, you don't have to have nothing. Thing. You need a computer. And if you can rhyme cat and hat, you can do it. So and that makes everybody it. believe that they know what the fuck they that, talking about yes. and that they got an opinion. Where rock, I can't really get into, like, man, I don't know, dude from Aerosmith, he ain't really that good. Because I don't know how to fucking play a guitar. But Eminem rhyming, shit, nigga, I can rhyme too. Yeah. I can rhyme cat, hat, bat, stack. I can do that. I can do the same shit. That's the Man issue Atkins. with that. Exactly. Man That's the shit with hip hop is that. Anybody can do it. And so mostly, everybody has an mostly, opinion. I was mostly talking about the artists. The rock artists that I have seen, or how many ever subgenres, those dudes, mm -hmm. I have seen them take this shit very seriously. I've seen them shit on other soft rock, alternative rock, punk rock. That ain't yeah. real rock. Yeah. I've seen I never these said I never, I never said that they don't. I said to that extent. I said that three times. The reason I to said that extent. Okay, the reason not to that extent, I think, is because of the fans. Like you said, the yeah. fans know. Because it's easy to do. Right. Everybody raps. But, everybody don't play a fucking the, guitar. But the artists still end up having these type of No, events. but we talk about fans. We talk about just regular everybody, everyday people. These motherfuckers will have the nerve to talk about not even just Eminem, man. That's this nigga at the top. Nas, uh Jay-Z, Jay -Z, uh fucking Jadakiss Styles, all these Joe motherfuckers. Button. It, Joe Button, anybody. Right. Like, nigga, you ain't never did nothing, and, and you can easily do it because you don't need shit to be able to be a right. rapper. With, with you know, all these other different genres of music, like, you got to have a bass talent of instruments mm -hmm. to even begin with. Yeah. Like, you got to know how to at least strum some shit. Right. With rap, like, nigga, can you talk? Yeah. If you can talk, you can be a mm -hmm. rapper. And that's the difference, I feel like, with rappers... That's why. That's why. That's why our genre me, is the me, way that it is. Give me some bad Eminem. Give me some bad Eminem music. It's plenty bad. I, I hated encore. I didn't like encore. I'm saying he had some bad. So I'm being destroyed because I think revival. No. Was not good. We're not biased. Hold up. I, I, you think I also. I, 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 also I also don't fuck with terrible music like you right. do. I right. don't. I don't well, fuck well, with that Leo, shit. Leo, what we're saying. Is I don't fuck with bad right, music. Exactly. I don't. You told me you listen to shit in your I, car. I mean, shit come on the radio. I don't turn my fucking car off when some shit come on. Like, yeah, it's still on. But I don't sit around listening to Migos. I don't sit around listening I'm to a, Future and I'm shit. A I don't rap, do that. I'm a rap vegan. 
If it ain't good, I ain't. So I'm a rap. Yeah, nigga. I don't sit around listening I'm to bad nigga. music. If it ain't, I don't fuck with it. If that's it ain't, subjective, right? And What's when I, bad music, music is subjective. Like, Migos is bad music, and that's the problem. Subjective, like, like sometimes <laughs> it's real subjective, bad. Subjective when I it comes to music. We're doing all this uh, napkin uh, uh, shit but, about Eminem shit. You got You got like Migos shit really sound right, like right. that. Dude was joking. Migos shit really sound like think, that. Like that's they real. I don't shit. simply think Migos is is like super trash. It's just a different. You think it's regular trash? It's different. It's like. Playing trash. It's not. It ain't rough. It ain't rough. But it's hefty. It may not be as nutritious. Yeah. It's not as nutritious as like a blo- uh, broccoli or something uh, like that. I think you like the beats more than anything. It's, I think that's the case with everybody. It's good. It's like candy. You know, everybody. Listen, man, candy. I like I like headphone music. That's the type of cat I am. I like headphone music. I, and it's all subjective. Like, like, I don't like club music. I like headphone music. If like, it, it, it's different. It's like I like it all. I like, truly enjoy it all. Like I, I, to me, hip hop. See, this is what sometimes you got to realize that hip hop ain't just about just rhyming words. Man. What else it is ain't it about? Just about rhyming me. words, like, what do you man. think, Joe Budden? Tell me what it's about. Sometimes it's about feeling good. Hip hop is also about feeling good, but having, that's the, a, having a good told, time. That's still about rhyming about, words, though. I know, but you it's don't still got to put it together. It don't, don't got to be the most deep, intricate shit. It, it, it don't. To it, feel it, it don't. Good, it I think you think that all I listen to ain't, is, is like ain't intricate. Eminem and like Joe Budden. When I listen to him, it's it's a mood. He ain't even intricate. I love I love Drake. I love fuck like I listen to G Easy. I love Dave East. Like, dude, these niggas make me feel a different way. I'm not listening to music just to Dave East isn't lyrical. Dave East is, is he's East Coast. I, I listen, but I'm not listening to anything, dude. Like, there's there's a difference. Like, when you say I like everything, that's a problem, dude. You shouldn't like everything. Like, I, I have a friend. It's not literally everything. Well, well I'm just saying, like, you give it's anything a, a chance. Speech. You like, niggas some, act like everything got to be so literal. No, like, no, no, on, no. Man. I'm just saying I can only listen. I mean, I, you don't I, go by what you said. I'm saying you're speaking literal. You don't have any. Like, <laughs> everything put, isn't literal. You didn't do this you when you said it. Hold on, you can't you can't say a literal you can't say a literal statement and then tell me don't take things literally. I only go. So you really think I like. Everything. I really do because you tell me and you make me believe that you do. Leo. Everything. Leo, though, nobody do. likes everything. Man. You like Jay? Realistic, you like Jay Z and Migos? Nigga, yes, that, I do. That covered the whole gambit. No, it don't. That's best to worst. It is. No, it, it's Who's getting, worse? It gets than worse than Migos. Soldier Boy, okay. Lil B, the bass guy. I don't know. It gets man. worse. I would argue that Soldier Boy is just yes, as good. I have. <laughs> okay, so then you listen to everything. I've never listened to Lil B before. I've never listened to those guys. So you listen to everything? Well, not, no. No. You said you it's listened to Lil B. It's some shit I won't before. listen to, like okay. Takashi Six Nine. I make it my business. Okay, well, it, well to guess try what? Not guess to what? To guess what? I listen to. I hear Tekashi. shit by accident. I listen, and I'm like, listen, like, oh my I'm god, listen, that beat sound good. He I'm might like, be better than the Migos. I've listened to. I've listened to Takashi Six Nine. Takashi might be better than Migos. I've listened to Takashi Six Nine. I listened to that shot, shot, shot. Like I've listened to his his major singles. Cause I was wanting to you see. You thinking the I got a problem with judgment? But you said Takashi is better than the Migos. I said he might be. I mean, they all trash. I don't fuck with none of them. I mean. Listen, what I'm I mean, you to... listen to one of them niggas. I don't even listen well, to none well, of them. Well, the difference is, is like, so Leo, you would be a better uh, well, well, judgment of that. Than well, this, I is the, would. this is the difference, though. Like, you listen to more other stuff than I do, but it distorts your opinion. You're kind of biased, Leo. I'm not biased with hip hop. If Eminem you dropped, are biased you know, with hip hop. Hold on, time out. I'm How not. so? Everybody biased. Hold on, How dude, so? dude, dude. I'm you not. Think I'm your way, you think your judgment and the way you see it is supreme. Dude, what if I said this? What if I said you've been biased? Like you, you, you think they trash because you listen to the type of music you listen to the most? I think they're trash because they're trash. Nigga. Like that's like that girl Barbie or whatever her name is. Uh, catch me outside, girl. She's trash. Everybody but she, thinks but, she's trash. But she's super popular. So, but, but like some stuff is just trash. Well, most like, people. Sorry, like, I'm what, gonna what, say what, everybody. What, what, yeah, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no black and ain't <laughs> no black and white with with words. I mean, either they're good, or either they're good or they're not. Well, like it's a skill set. Well, what I'm trying to say is, like, what, like what if I said this? Certain type of words put together. What I said, like I mean, some people some started. Stuff, some stuff is opinion based, but then some stuff is just facts. Like, like what I'm saying is like I haven't said anything biased. Like you assumed it. I thought MGK lost the battle because Eminem was my favorite rapper. No, MGK got no ass. I, I, I told him I was like, dude, MGK did. You assume I thought Eminem was trash because I no, thought I, one I, of his I, albums wasn't I that good. I didn't say that. I no different. You, Everybody. No. Skewed. I didn't say. I didn't assume you thought Eminem was trash. I. I you are you an Eminem said, fan, correct? Yes. You like Eminem? Yes, man. Okay, hold on. No, I hear you. It don't sound well, like y'all no, really no, no. Listen, listen. I, I don't believe you, <laughs> yeah, and I, listen. That's I'm gonna tell you why up. I don't believe you. As a My fan, real friends know. Hold on. As a like, fan of somebody, hold up. Listen. I'm talking about like <laughs> niggas that grew up with me through the years. Come on. Man. That was before you got in your pro black bag. Listen, it, <laughs> listen, you, listen. Man. Say that you say that you are a fan of somebody like one of your top four bands. Say they release something that's good. It's good. You really fucking with it. Like this, this shit, good. You give it an eight out of ten. And you're posting about it. Would you say anything nice about it? Because it was good. It gave it an 8 out of 10. And this is one of your top. Would you say anything nice about it? On your own post. Considering you're posting about it. Did you think you would? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because you thought it was good. Yeah. yeah. You didn't. You said, oh, hold on, hold on. All three of your posts was all shade. 
white people this, Eminem that. That shit ain't that good. Motherfucker be hyping shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And that's why I don't believe you. Because for you to say in one breath that a motherfucker is in your top five, I fuck with this shit. And I gave it an eight. You, you, you had nothing positive to say about it. Nothing. That's why I don't believe you. Because you're saying one thing and your actions are showing a totally different thing. All right, let me address that. Is that fair? No, I don't think that's fair. Okay. Because, once again, it's a lot of albums that I listen to that I may think is a 7 through a 9 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I may speak on the fans or the reaction to it, but that don't necessarily mean I'm thinking the project is trash. I don't speak on every album. No, you album. didn't think it was trash. You I thought don't, it was right, good? I don't speak on every album I think is good in, in, a, in a highlight or but whatever the case may be. But you did speak on it. Yes. The, you chose I, I was, to speak I was speaking shady on the about it. I was speaking on the reaction. No pun intended. I was speaking. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I was speaking on the reaction to right. it not the music itself right y'all act like certain fans and stands don't overhype shit and dick ride shit all like I, the other post you hadn't I, even heard it at, the, at that point though. i wasn't talking about the music once again i but was you talking hadn't about heard the, the music to know if it was hyped or not once again man do you forget about what we had talked talked about but earlier you hadn't even heard it maybe they were telling the truth it, no it's it, it <laughs> maybe it was good and you gave it an eight so re it was rewind to earlier in the podcast i was okay. it's the range People even I was mostly speaking on like a lot of the white rapper friends yeah. that I have on Facebook. Right. It's like these motherfuckers was nowhere. And every time Eminem drop a project, it's like, you know, these niggas come out the woodwork. They're like, excited. You know, I get it. Yeah. But I but I could damn, I can't speak on it though. That don't make let me, me let, like let me ask you just, that don't make my own. Let me ask you something. Okay. Know, I'm in my who's my your, bag. Who's your favorite rapper? Tupac. All right. Name your favorite Tupac album. Probably, Michael, Michael no. All eyes on me? No. Nah. It would either be I think it's Me Against the World. Okay, favorite song on his, uh, Tupac's album? All, my favorite Tupac song of all time is Dear Mom. Okay, and you know what album that was off of, right? I believe it was from okay. Me Against the World. All right. Eminem, you said your favorite album from Eminem is Marshall Mathers' mm -hmm. LP. What was your favorite song on Marshall Mathers? Well, my favorite song is The Way I Am or Kim. All right. Maybe Kim. Kim goes so, hard, son. I also so, like I Want to Love off the 8 Mile right. soundtrack. That was like maybe my right. favorite Eminem verse to listen to because it's like a regular beat. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like some hood mm -hmm. shit and he got hella good bars right. on there. So, I mean, you, you've you had a love or appreciation. I won't say a love. You've had an appreciation for Eminem. I right. still but, do. Like he say, it seems like like Leo, man. We respect your pro black shit. <laughs> we do, man. Like like, dude, we we get, get it, in that dude. pro black we bag. We get it. Bro. We understand. That bag is you, big. you all about your dude. We we love our people, man. But you have to stop letting that distort your your love for for certain things. Like it's 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 it is it's a biased thing, dude. Like it makes you like I close my eyes and I don't hear a white person when they rapping, dude. I just hear a rapper. Like and I, I like that's what I was trying to say earlier. Like if the leaders of the of the new school rap. If, if it's supposed to be these black kids right now, they're failing us, dude. They're going to bring rap into a hole. If it takes three white rappers in this week to bring some great rap out, I'm going for whoever's making great content. And when I sit here say with Eminem, if Eminem drop a, a trash album, I'm not, look, I'm going to treat it the same. Like, you didn't see me on Facebook hyping this album when it's great, this new one. You didn't see me hyping the last one. You don't see me down in it. It's like if Joe Button bring out some trash music, I'm his worst album was fucking, um, Another one, never broke again. The NBA, NBA shit, shit, that, yeah, that bullshit ass album. It was a uh, love loss. All that love was loss. Uh, that was his. All those love loss was like that was his worst shit. It was horrible. I don't you like just because I'm not biased. Like dude, I'm the same way with Kobe. Kobe has had fucked up basketball games. He's I don't promote bullshit. I'm a fan. Of, I'm I'm just talking in general. I'm not biased with anything. Like I'm a fan of the culture of hip hop. If Eminem come out with something great. I'm going to support it. Like, it's anybody. Like, if anybody, like, if Cardi, like, Cardi B's album was super hype. I have a friend on my post. I ain't going to name his name. He's, he's cool with you, too. When Cardi B's album came out, this nigga was on Facebook talking about some, if this Cardi B don't touch your soul, I don't know what not. Eminem shit just came out. He was doing the same shit you doing. Just bashing Eminem. Oh, Eminem's overrated. He don't even deserve top five. He's like some of your posts. I'll tell you. He it's the, listen, listen, it's, listening. Me and this nigga have listen, it's the, it's right. the, it's the and, racial and, shit, and it go both well, ways. A lot of times white people hype and shit simply because he white and they want the best right. rapper to be a white right. guy and then to fight that we have a lot of black people who want to they grade him harsher right. more harshly so that jay-z could be the better well, rapper it's so it's always like that push and pull like no a white guy's the best rapper nah i, I think we're gonna give it to jay-z to the point where people even say eminem's overrated he don't deserve to be here like dude like that's so like and black people say we can't be racist it's like we we saying like get out we don't want you in our culture like i thought music was expression like, like what, what? This is his form of expression, and he's done it better than basically ninety-five percent of people who've done it. Like he expressing himself. Shit. So 
Talk he, he's lived in harsher environments than us. I mean, them grew up harder than me. Like he, he grew up in Eight Mile, dude. He grew up nothing around black people. And he don't. I mean, nothing but black people. He don't act black. He acts like himself. He, he's not even acting like a wigger. He acting like an actual white dude. <laughs> grew up in a trailer. He's, he's real. Can't nobody question that. He talks about what he knows, drug addiction. His mom. He just expressed it in a way that nobody else can. And people say we can't relate. And then we, we slight him for being great at it. And it's like I feel like nowadays, it's sad. Other races are doing our shit better than us. They're preserving our Nigga, culture. Everywhere. They take it seriously. Everywhere. And we, and we R&B, got, and we got, everything. We Sam, like Wayne, Sam Smith and, and all of these niggas, niggas, they take it over. Who's sipping lean, and they, and they, they killing our culture. Hold up, because we accept it. Right. Because we don't hold them to a higher standard. The, we'll, we'll sit around and listen to Migos and pretend that that shit is good rather than to really want to hold because, motherfuckers to a higher standard. What, because, Meanwhile, white motherfuckers taking our shit super serious. MGK, Eminem, right. G-Eazy, right. all but, these motherfuckers. Right, because, all the Post Malone, woke, Post Malone and broke fucking Michael Jackson's record right. and shit. It's like, he ain't spending, he making the same trash they making, though. I, I'm not speaking uh, R&B on Post, music for, for speaking Post Malone. Cause that, that's the record on, he broke was R&B. He don't really rap anyway. He's seen. Like, I'm speaking but, on like the MGK. But your point is that white people are taking our music shit more seriously. Not that they do it better. They just take it more seriously. And you know why they do? Because they grew up the same they listen to the same shit we did they grew up listening to the same rappers we did but guess what at some point how many white rappers have you heard say tupac was trash oh but we got motherfuckers. rich homie don't even know the words to biggie we got little motherfuckers coming into our culture disrespecting our forefathers little yachty disrespect they don't disrespect it they they respect the culture they wanted to be a, it's part a good of topic this. i and like they respect that. our culture and they doing it better than us but what we doing we kicking them down eminem love hip-hop probably more than all of us it shows he he sacrificed his life to do what he do and now what we do we slight this motherfucker and he loves he loved his culture man he loved the culture no, he loved the, culture. the way you said it i'm just saying he right. clearly i know he loved the culture more than i do he loved this shit like and he he if he respects it but even go on a platform and do a battle thing talking about black lives and what we do we disrespect well, YG could have did it better. Oh, yeah. When, he, nobody, when like, he came at well, Trump oh, and shit, wanna, Black Bill, Black Bill was see, mad. Y'all want to stay woke like, hey, when a white person speak up. Guys. But then in the same <laughs> breath, <laughs> then the same breath we go in a Kaepernick situation. <laughs> and we, well, I'm just saying, like, we go in a Kaepernick situation. We're like, well, why won't somebody like Brady stand up for? Because it doesn't matter. Black people don't Because Brady saw what happened to Eminem when Eminem tried to stand up for. It's like, no, it's because Brady fuck with Trump. It's because Brady friends with Trump. I mean, it's like, it's like, that's why I say here, say Eminem can't do no good like it's like he's that's speak. not true come on stop acting like people you. have decided no, this motherfucker ain't the victim and shit this motherfucker he's not trying to be you hold on you painting him out to be a victim like I'm the world is shitting on all. him you just went on this to fuck all I that said he can't do no shit. right this See, motherfucker all that sympathy no i'm just saying now, he should have said that when the, when a black lives shit no, i don't give a fuck what he said right, clearly he don't. gets his opinion his opinion does matter and it helps out i'm not speaking he's not I don't, I'm not, well, I'm not, what I mean, I, when I say I don't care is I'm saying I'm not talking about that at the moment. What I'm saying is this, the dude get credit. Most, most elite rappers give him credit. Like we, like you all know, all of them. you said that too. And many, yeah, many a time, nobody should know Eminem for real, for real. I do, right. I do admit it's a couple dudes that uh, that's out there. Black dudes, especially that don't want to give him any credit mm -hmm. because he, well, I'm not one of those people. I said he was top five. What the fuck else do you want from no, me? Oh, we just saying. I mean, saying yeah, you can say you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Your actions show something different. Yeah, I mean, once again, I mean, I feel like I feel, I, I feel like that's like a weak bell out. It's like it's like I'm a like oh, too smart to be it's, saying it's, like this it's, dumb. It's, it's like, like I feel like that's what you're doing. And you do hold on, like, you do, you do it a lot with the whole I talking. Circles type what did I say shit. bad or, about or, the nigga? Or, or, what did or, I say bad or, about I didn't the nigga? Mean that. See, so you mean to tell me the white all, dudes wasn't hyping hold this up. shit? Out of all of us, you're the only one who never means what you say. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's what. That's exactly what opinion. I'm talking about. It's your opinion. Right. Well, no, it ain't an right. opinion. It's a fact. You just said it. Like, oh, I talk in codes. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it literal. You're the only one who backstep on shit you say. We don't backstep on shit. Y'all misunderstand. I say exactly you misunderstand things on purpose. The reason I say you that. The reason I say that is this. I did not say Eminem <laughs> album was bad. I don't think. I, hold on. Let me finish. I nobody si said you did. Man, I simply spoke on them hyping it, and I even used the Black Panther movie as a point. Why is that more important to you than bigging up one of your favorite rappers who did a good thing? Why is that more important to, for you? Because that's just how. Say that three times in a row outside of saying my guy did that's a just good how job. I, I fuck am. with him. He Hold did a good on. job. That's just how I am. When do you see me bigging up rapper albums on the regular? I listen to good albums all the time. When do you constantly So that's what you Hold do? On. When do you You listen to music and then you find a way to put put in a negative. Like that's your thing. That's how you that's how you decide what you if you're gonna post no, about an artist. No, no. No, exactly. No, it's yeah, usually that's, that's I, what I'm usually saying. I see things right. and I react to it. I see right. a whole timeline going crazy about said topic and that time. And then without hearing it, and then without hearing it, you say it's hyped. 
No. Yeah, I, that makes a lot of sense. I, no, I didn't I, say that. I've seen you. Oh, that, that was the case, though. No, I, you was, hadn't heard the whole CD before you started no, saying it was hot. No, the one I spoke on before I heard it, it wasn't about the music. I said, where are all of these white rapper fans coming from? That's what I was speaking on before I heard it. Hey, but then, mean, that's, hold on. That's obvious. And then once I heard it, I spoke on it in the Black Panther movie, Sans. People make, because before, before I heard it, motherfuckers was making it sound like it was the best Eminem album ever. I heard it. I'm like, damn, it's good. Yeah. But it ain't great, great, like, hey. compared to, like, the greatest yet, shit he ever done. Positivity Which yet. is probably, like, well, one of I the don't best. have to have all this positivity hey, for but, this motherfucker. You got some. I said, it, I said it was good. Hey, hey, That's when, positive. When? But let's, During the post, you admitted yourself. You said it. I said it was good. I never admitted that, because I didn't see that. Man, it... Hey, I didn't see that. People listening to this part of the podcast earlier in the podcast, you even said it yourself. You said the album was good, but that's I just asked you during this podcast. No, what did you no, give you it? were you talking it about what you, you said. Eight. No, I wasn't talking about. I was talking about our conversation here today. On Facebook, we because I asked you. On later. Facebook, we spoke about this. I recall. We spoke it. about the I album. I recall a time when four 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 dropped. You were quoting lyrics on Facebook, hardcore, and you were very. You said nothing negative, and and he, had, he ain't even and, heard the whole and, CD. No, that was based on the. He didn't even heard the whole album. That we was still quoting. Cool that bars. was based on the songs. <laughs> That's based on the songs I heard. So, you so heard the listen, whole album. So I gotta hear. I, we're saying about I didn't say that. I just all I'm saying is I, I didn't say this was the greatest Jay Z album you ever. Did I say that? Didn't say anything bad. I didn't say it was real positive. You didn't say nothing negative though. I don't have to say nothing negative or positive. I say what the fuck I want to say. I thought I thought that was your thing though. Sometimes you just say whatever you see. Everybody was hyping 444. No. I hear you say, oh, y'all hyping it, Jay-Z. I'm, ooh, I, I didn't think everybody at? was hyping, hyping it. Hella people was saying it was trash. You I seen hella people That's saying 444 was trash. That's a lie. I got young. <laughs> hold on. I got way, I got mass different type of friends on my Facebook. I seen hella niggas I saying that album you. was trash. No, y'all, you want to. So you ain't seen nobody saying that 444 was trash. You was hyping no. that. I mean, people saying Eminem was trash. They talking about the beats. People saying Eminem they talking about the beats was and whack. Honestly, all types of shit. His flow was honestly, old. Honestly, like, all you're right. Of Some shit. people do say it's trash, Come but we're on, talking man. about Leo Bishop. Right. I'm talking about Leo. So what? talking about consistency. You can't control what I say. I'm a grown ass man. I say I'm trying to control the audio. You get, you get mad. Nobody. Nah. You get nobody mad. You, you. I've never said I can control. So you want you me to speak on no, every I, rapper album no, the same I way I speak on Eminem? Keep the same energy. Is that what we get? Keep getting? the that's, same energy. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Keep the same. Exactly. If that's what you do, exactly. what you're trying to tell me, that's what I do sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I don't respond to the music. I respond to what people saying. Keep the same energy. You can't energy. box me in. Keep the same energy. No. That's what I'm saying. My energy is my energy. I speak on how I feel. And I can have an opinion on how you feel. And right. I say keep the and same And I can energy. have a counter opinion. Okay. So keep the same energy. <laughs> and that's why we keep going keep in that, circles. See, see, what, 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 it because, what it sounds like is you have one it, way of doing it when it's one person and another way of doing it when it's somebody else. No, that's, that's, what it, no, I mean, that's, that's obvious. Absolute, no. That's it's obvious. Several, it's mass. It's more, it's more cases on my side than you can think of. It's no. because it's mass albums that I like. You that I don't, that I don't big, that I don't big up. You are consistent. That I don't big up. You are consistent on what you want to big up. That I don't big up. I mean, you are consistent on what you want to big up. Like Come I on said, now. I use, I use the Migos example. I said, when you like Migos, you said positive things. You said that shit be leaning and stuff like that. You I say, ain't, when do I go on Facebook and just, just I'm, big up the Migos and I'm all not, that? I spoke, us, hold on, I, hold on, I spoke Leo, on. Leo, Leo, no. I'm talking about us talking. No, the reason, the reason, no, the reason why the, the reason, the reason why the Migo thing popped up is because I was riding around on Instagram. Let me finish. Let me finish. He was feeling Let me finish. I'm on your side I was driving and listening to the music and him and him and dj murk out was speaking on it this that's the yesterday. only reason Leo, it came up i'm not knocking no you he said keep the same energy that. i'm talking to you for yeah my, and he, my, you wrong no, talking about keep your, am i wrong are you are you're not keeping because i wasn't making facebook Leo, posts about the media yeah. who was talking Leo, about the media you just brought that up we're talking about, talking about jay-z and eminem we talking about Leo, jay-z and eminem i'm sitting here speaking i do see you're consistent but what I'm saying, like you, when you like something, when you like Migos, you speak positive about it. You like the Jay Z thing. Speak you speak positive. positive. What I'm saying is, with, when it comes to Eminem in general, you don't speak positive. And I told you, I said it was good. Where did you say it was good? On my Facebook, man. And, oh, no, man. not on your Facebook. He said it in the comments of somebody else's post or some shit like that. Like Leo, like your whole. Post Cause you definitely don't even check yours. I already checked it. You did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Hey, don't even been... check yours. I already did. <laughs> I you told did you, you did. He did prep work and shit. You did. I've been watching. I looked at that the other day when we were talking like, online like, about Leo, it. You gotta Girl, remember, like, shit. like Leo, like we're friends on Facebook. You know I don't post a lot of stuff. You don't post a lot of stuff. I was joking. I said T'Challa wash him. That's yeah. why he got yeah. you out. Yeah, even got the I'm jokes. Not, yeah. dude, I'm not, Listen, yeah. dude, I'm nowhere near mad. I'm not saying that could be like that that complex mechanism. I'm not mad. If I'm upset about something, I would say it. And I don't think he's mad, and I don't think you're mad. I hope you're not mad. I think it's passion, but I'm not even there. Like, I'm just calling you on what it is. Like, you, you call me on my shit, you call me on my shit. It's cool. Like, we're not saying that there's anything wrong with All I'm saying is, like, dude, your musical opinion has somewhat of a racial bias 
because of the fact how you're how pro black you are. Like, and all I'm saying is like, dude, it's music. Like, separate. The lead, if the leaders of our forefront separate. are trying to save our culture and they white, who cares? Macklemore is dope. Mac Miller's dope. MGK is dope. Um, fucking um, G Easy is dope. These dudes are better than a lot of these black rappers. I'm sorry. I I, I want I want leaders of our music to just be leading our music. I don't care about their color line. That's all I'm trying to say, dude. Like all this other stuff don't matter. Like stop putting the color into it, dude. You say you want people to stay woke. We have conscious rappers. It's not our fault that our conscious rappers aren't doing like you just said, staying long term doing body of work. I got a it's question for you. Why do you think me and Chris see you that way? Because I speak Because, I, because mean, I speak on race a lot on Facebook. I speak on race more than you do. Easily. Mm. It ain't even close. It's honestly not. I speak on black white shit way more than you do, so it ain't that. It's why not, why do you just, think we both see you that way? Because it's the extents that I go to. Like I, I say, I, I don't want to date white women. Yeah, mm-hmm. shit like that. You say a lot. And of you, stuff don't that think, makes you, you don't think you don't think. But I dated white women. I know, but don't, I know. That's like a white person said I got black friends, Leo. Come but it's on, the bro. truth. If they got black like, friends, want, they really do. No points. Right? So, don't make them racist just because they do. Why you gotta look at me when you say white people got black friends? The whole point is the whole point is that you categorize. Even white people got black friends. The whole point is the whole point is that. You categorize, you categorize that shit like, like that. Y'all categorizing you. me? No, we're t- we go, of my we go in off life. of what we we've, we've known you for a long time, Leo. And it's kind of easy to sit there and say like, Leo, it's after getting to know you for a while, it's kind of hard to not think like you might be, you might be racist. A little like, bit. You're not, you're not racist to That's everybody. Your opinion, like, what I'm saying that doesn't mean you like, like you don't have like, like you're full blown racist. Like obviously you, you ain't full of hatred. You're, like you, you sit there, you sitting here in Jerry's house. Like you ain't full of hatred. You can coexist, but also for real, for real, you have a problem with white people. I feel like it's light. Hold it's, on, it's, 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 it's very, it's very no thin racism. You ain't no black supremacist, but yeah, you, yeah. you really adamant about. It's very like, thin, you feel like, and it's draped over everything that you think. And I think it has a whole lot to do with how you break down things. Like you can't give somebody like Eminem maximum credit, and you do give him credit. I ain't saying that you don't. I feel like you would give me more credit if that wasn't the backdrop of all your thoughts. This see, white dude taking over. White motherfucker trying to do this. White person doing see, this. I, we getting knocked out the see, way type I, of shit. I disagree because I put like Eminem in the same lane. Like I love Joe Budden as well. I love uh, even Nas. Mm-hmm. I like most death. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think. So, Lupe. Mm-hmm. You know, but I, even like Lupe to me, for real, for real. Can't I listen think, to Lupe like that. I, th- I think Lupe is better than Eminem in some way. Mm-hmm. You know, but... Lupe not even in my top five. I'm judging them on the same scale, and this drops Lupe you know, in the same light. It's not a racial thing. If that was the case, then Eminem wouldn't be in my top five at all. I mean, you can put somebody in that my you don't top... like in your top five. Don't mean, I mean, you can, be, you can not like. I mean, no, you but if, still appreciate if, his music. But... but my whole racial bias isn't enough for me to just have him just down on hey, the list. You, but do you know why I just said what I said? I think a lot of people the, put the Eminem deal. in their top five because you would be an idiot not to. Right. Well, but there's but a then, lot but, of people but, that don't even put him top but, ten. But though. then, I mean, don't motherfucker. You got to be ignorant. That's the real. That's just, that's just, that's just, that's just, just ignorant. Yeah, they just hating on him. But Leo, you literally said verbatim in your mouth before. You didn't say it on here, like on wax. But you said to us, you can't fully give Eminem props because he's white trying to take over our culture. We didn't make that up. You that said was that. kind of a joke, though. That's man. not funny, like, dude. That's not. Where, where's the punchline? <laughs> I like what racial. If, I like racial comedy. I always have, dude. and I always do. I continue <laughs> to do this. Like, I joke dude. about race all the time dude, on my Facebook. Like, but you don't believe that that backdrop of your thought processes has anything to do with what we're so saying? Much no, if that was the case, well, we both just we both just crazy. I, no, if that was, yeah, I really do. I think y'all just. I think you just like sensitive, like I'm looking at it, like like, dude, like those are like things sensitive like sensitive about like, what. Like, 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 all right, like Leo, like we all friends, but when you say stuff not like sensitive, that, not sensitive, not sensitive. I mean, like you know hurt, those are like those are like you know I mean, you're looking for certain it, words. Like when you when you talk, even to if your it's friends, not there, I mean, you bring it to. Uh, us. I mean, I mean when you say stuff it. like that, that's only because I jokingly I speak. See, this is the thing about me. I, I speak on race in a joking way and a serious way. I know, so but some, how do we so know? Sometimes Leo, like, like, <laughs> people think like, oh my god, that's it. what you just said, though. You looked at me and sleeping. You just try to call us sensitive. No, and damn, where ain't a sensitive bone in neither of our body. Like, come on, man. You said I was crazy for not seeing my kids after I got put on child support. Like, like, I'm anything but that's, that's anything, anything that's anything like, like anybody sensitive. you know me sleep long enough <laughs> I you didn't care at all enough, and you know ain't nothing me and him can have the most like nigga you can say I didn't even care a little like, bit like we can sit here we can talk about my mama dude we can talk about my mama on some negative shit and I ain't gonna even jump up out of my skin I'm the mo- I'm not I'm a person of not giving people reactions so for you to tell me a hip hop about Eminem he make all, I can go to the cliche comment everybody making money he rich he famous <clears throat> He's not a victim of anything. None of these motherfuckers are victims. These are topics. It's hip hop, dude. I love hip hop. You're invalidating our feelings. Right. Like you're making it seem like I'm I'm butt hurt over like how doing. you feel That's about Eminem. I feel, I, feel like you're in, I feel like you're invalidating our feelings. Dude, we just looking for the honor. On 
I mean, based on true. how you know your perception you comes off to us. Like, we only can go off of what you say and what you do. Your actions <laughs> but he ain't speak mean for that. you. Your actions speak for you. Sometimes. Like, your actions no, no, speak you know, for you. <laughs> but sometimes you do. Uh, if he was joking, but sometimes he ain't joking. Y'all act like the police, man. Uh, we like, just calling you on your <laughs> shit. Like, don't no, say, it's like, like, don't no, say shit. Hey, listen, it's hard to debate with us. I give him that. Y'all about to get. Y'all about to give me a cigarette. Next, Take one. ask me, do I want a cigarette hey, and something from to... Burger King and hey, shit? Man, like, it's like you're trying to get me to confess listen, you, you, no, that it's I not, hate you, him you or something like that. It's called a debate. Like, listen, it's not dude. much more. It's not. I'm it's, sorry you feel that. It's way. not anything behind the veil. Hey, it is what it is. I take like, evidence and I and I put forth the evidence. You know, However you feel about that, that is on you. It's a theory. No, I said evidence, nigga. That do make it factual. No, it don't. Evidence is factual. It's fact based. Based on something that really happened. Evidence may be we have a blood sample. That don't mean no. It's my blood. Blood. In this so case, we're talking yeah. about your post and the way that you talk about these things. This is all factual things that you've said or but you've typed. But it's not facts, bro. Uh, sleep. It's not. Facts. He said he's. It's not literal. Like I'm saying, we taking. Hold your on, work. man. I'm about to read the actual but post. Leo, no, but, fuck uh, that. No, hold on, because this is way taken out of context. Listen, hold on, hold on. A couple seconds ago, because it's about how you feel instead of what's actually being said. A couple seconds ago, I just called Leo and I said, "You verbatim have said Eminem is this, this, and that." He said, "I'm joking." Right. I mean, it's always a caveat. So you can't, so you, so you can't true. catch him right. in anything because truth. even when you catch him outright, he'll say, "Well, I'm oh, joking." JK. It's not an outright JK. thing. A lot of truth is said in J- jest. J.K. Y'all don't joke. Y'all don't. <laughs> so what am I supposed y'all to don't say? joke tell about me, shit. T- y'all dude, don't joke about stuff. It wasn't stuff? a joke. Y'all, how thing. you gonna tell me what my feelings? Because you can always say that. Was. That's the. That's the. That's the. That's the that don't mean it's not the case. When a joke has a whole lot to do with your personality in general, it's less a joke. Jay, did you believe me when you said? Y'all crazy, man. Did you believe? It's less a joke when that's your personality. Jay, it's like this. Like it's like this. All right, it's like if your wife say, "Hey, Jerry." It's like it's like this. This your wife say, "Hey, um, uh, you know what? I would like some flowers for Valentine's Day." And then you like, um, all right, so should I get you some flyers? And she's like, uh, I don't know. You should know if I want flyers. And it's like, you don't get her some flyers. And then she's like, why didn't you give me no flyers? Oh, well, I mean, because you said, you, I don't know if I'm supposed to get you some flyers. Like, which is it? Is it literally or is it not? Like, man, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, Leo's, like, bouncing around. Like, he's, like, literally saying something. But then when you call him. I kind of feel sorry for him because he's doing this debate thing with me, and that's a bad thing to do. I just don't. Hold oh, no, on. You're not that great. They have you doing oh, shit. Leo. What you're doing right now. Like, saying, I didn't mean this. I meant it this way. Oh, I meant it this way. Let me jump back over here. No, because you're trying to. It's tough, man. No, the reason I say that is you try to pull something. I didn't pull anything. No, I'm talking about him. You try to pull something. I said, when we was outside three years ago, joking about rap and shit. When were we joking? We were talking about aliens and like, I remember a conversation. This is when you said you're not well, even I sure was... that any of this shit is real. Like you was like, I don't know if y'all motherfuckers real. Shit. So in the, oh, we have serious... we were having a real oh, conversation. Listen, we weren't like laughing and shit. All of our podcasts. Since most I've known you, you've always most, been serious. About most of, a lot of our, of but shit. I'm serious and I'm joking most of the time. Even all yeah. our podcasts be about serious shit, and we joking half the yeah, time. But we know. So when what's you the joke? difference? Because we know what's when the you difference. Joke, Leo, we know when you somebody joke. that listens to the podcast. So we can't even know us. They may be like, damn, he's serious about that because they opinion of you. So do you expect people not to take anything you say seriously? Because it seemed like when it's brought up, you turn Listen, into a honestly, joke. most of my life, people always try to tell me how I feel because they try to box me in. I can feel multiple ways about different things. Yeah, we all things. can. That's I'm normal. A, that's, I'm that's not a limited shit. type of person. Yeah, that's regular. You know I mean? uh, that's regular shit. But like, as, just because I, I just because I have black pride doesn't mean that I'm racist or biased I mean, we, towards we, 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 white we, we, people. We are, uh, having you know. pride, that's irrelevant. Everybody got pride in their individual races. No, I speak that's, on it though more than the average person, I, and that makes you don't speak on it more than me. That make it seem no. You speak on more things. So that's why it would not seem that way. You know, the average person. I mean, I'm not. The average I'm, person would think that I don't I have a racial undertone to everything that I say. I, I, I talk about black people as much. No, see, you listen, speak that's about the a, a broader like, range of topics. So the, the percentage the dif- of it all. Will the look the different. difference between me and you, even if we relate it back to hip hop. Um, how you will say something positive about Jay Z? Like that's your guy. You, you I always. Don't, I don't even pick Jay Z up all the Can time. I like that, Can I finish? Can I finish? I didn't say you do it all the time that's like that. You trying to flip it? That's your guy. Listen, your you, boy. Listen, you said things positive about Jay Z. <laughs> it, it'll be easy to find on your post. If I look back, I'm sure for the last couple of years you haven't said nothing positive about Eminem. If we go back to the racial shit, with the difference between me, I say negative things about white people. In jest, sometimes serious. 
I also say negative things about black people in jest and serious. You don't say negative things about Jay-Z and you don't say positive things about Eminem. That's the difference. So I don't us. say negative things about black people. Let's just keep it there. That's essentially what we're talking about. Well, uh, I'm just I'm just hold asking Hold on, hold on, hold on. This conversation is I'm about this conversation is about rap and that. So yeah, obviously think, it's both. I, I think it's both. I think yeah. it's turned left. I mean, more. I said it. I, I came out. Turned, I came right I, out and I, said I, it. I think the bigger <laughs> issue is cuz I just wanted a direct I, answer I, to I, the I question. Know, I'm saying, follow up. I'm saying you have you said something negative stuff about black people, but you are very adamant about white people. And I know what the issue of this conversation is because I've had it with my cousin before. I've called my cousin racist. And that like it's hard, like, and my cousin got super mad at me, like he was super heated, and 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 that makes you feel like that you're a bad person or something. Maybe you don't, maybe you, you don't, don't give a fuck. But you're not a bad you. person. It I bothers. I like you. I know myself. Right. Well, I like I, you. I, I know That's the difference know between me and maybe these other people. I, like I know you. myself. I mean, I'm just saying, like, do you? But but yes, I'm, I, I can't tell Sound you. Sound like you're joking. I have knowledge of self. Sound like you're joking. That's why I'm secure enough to do so. But I can't tell you about yourself because you're you. I can't tell you about. I can tell niggas about this. You do know yourself. What I'm saying here, saying is, what I'm saying is, I know most people better than they know themselves. I'm not telling you, Leo. Leo. <laughs> I'm not telling you about yourself. Go what ahead. I am saying though is, it is hard for people to admit something that negative about themselves. Like you, like you don't, you may not see yourself because you're yourself, but from the outside, your perception comes off racist. Like you, you do, come, and I, you don't have to care. I'm just telling you, like Facts. in this world, your perception, who people who know you, who like. It would like if some people categorize you, they can name all the good stuff about you. But in somewhere in that description of you, they can say, "Hey, you probably in all those like black groups on Facebook." Right, I mean, if I get kicked out of those groups often. Well, Why? I mean, you're very because I I keep it real all the way. I ain't never heard you keep what's it he? real <laughs> about race. <laughs> I ain't never heard you keep it real. <laughs> anyway, it's always slanted. Anyway, what was you saying? It's always slanted the one side. I don't know what the it. fuck you mean by that. I'm going. To, I'm I mean, I never right. heard you keep it real. I mean exactly what I said. It's always slanted to one side. it real? I don't hear you say. I don't hear you speak on our people as negatively as you speak on other people. I do that. Which on, I feel I like do that on purpose. Which I feel like. Hold on. And I, feel I don't like, think that's wrong. I feel like that's more important because I need to be able to check my own before I'm trying to check somebody else. Before I'm trying to tell him to check his people, I need to be checking my guy first, so we can get our shit together first before I start telling him what they need to be doing. I check. That's black, more important. I check black people more in black groups than I do on my public timeline. Okay. Right. So for a, a reason. A situation. I, I kind of look at that as like. Like airing out your dirty laundry. I don't want to argue with my girlfriend in the middle of the street. I'd rather argue with her in the house. Because there's America. certain things that black people do that I think is very embarrassing. And I don't always want to just keep promote. Because sometimes when you. That shit ain't no secret, on, though. Hold on. That I, shit ain't no of secret. Of course not. Of right. Course so not. so it, it don't. It shouldn't matter. That's what I'm saying. Like when I see certain people post certain videos, like like when, like when even the Eminem post. Yeah. One of them, I had spoke about things I was seeing on my timeline. Right. It wasn't just about Eminem. I spoke on Kanan dying on right. power. I spoke on. The, yeah, I saw that. The two girls giving the, the little kids the weed to smoke. See, I used to do certain things. Like, I would used to post that thing, the negative thing, and shit on the black people. Then I realized that some people only see the video mm -hmm. and the negative thing. And it's almost like I'm promoting the negativity. I'm showing the black oh. girls fighting all the time. Well, and I, hold on, let me finish. I may have a good caption up top, but most motherfuckers ignore that and go to the video. I don't want to keep sharing that negativity. I'd rather go directly to the source, mm -hmm. talk to them about that, and it don't help me a lot because I get kicked out of these groups because a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. But I, like I said, I mostly look at that as the same thing when it comes to like, Airing out your dirty laundry. Well, I mean, but the laundry's family. already out, man. The, yeah, the world but still, people may know you have problems, but do you want to argue in the middle of the street with your girlfriend? The, 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 I mean, if it's the, gonna happen. The, it's gonna happen. Is that what you're going? No, I don't want to go for the, it. But if it's, the I'm state not of Africa, the state of African Americans in America is not a secret. Like, right. You ain't about to tell him shit about black people he don't already know. Exactly. He, he he online, too. He see all the same shit. It ain't like if you don't bring it up, he didn't see it. He knows. He live in this country. I, I mean, if we're going to be speaking outwardly about race in general, I feel like I need to check mine or bring up mine way more than I bring. Because I, I can't control that. I, the, got, I have more of a control. Is, the checking is still being done. It's just where I'm doing the checking. Right. Just in a way, I guess, where I only see the white side and I don't see the black side. I mean, you're not in those groups. Right, so, I, and, and that goes back how, to what I was saying. But you, that's I, why it's slanted. But you ask how, and that's I how. I mean, I can see how you would see it that yeah, way. But that's I, all I'm saying. I don't, but, know, I don't know what you're doing on your same, own time. The same way I used to tell my girl when she used to accuse me of cheating, I know where I'm at all the time. Right. I know what I'm doing all the but, time. Like Just Chris, because you aren't there doesn't necessarily mean i get it the perception yeah. may be that i'm doing this yeah. that and the third and that's all we can speak on is but, our perception but i still live in what my, we see i still live in my reality though we all live yeah. in and in my reality, reality yeah. i haven't said anything that was racist i'm not racist right. just because i call white people out on a bullshit and part of the reason i do that is not really just 
doing it to shit on white people. A lot of white people seem not to know well, about yeah. the history. Like yeah. we speak on this. Let me finish. Like we speak on the school systems and this, that, and the third. Right. A lot of people, a lot of white, modern, like young white people, they view the world in such a fucked up way right. because they haven't been educated on why the things are the way they are. Mm-hmm. And sometimes if I'm sharing this negative video, they don't care about the context of why people ended up beating where they are and dumb right. and whatever the case may be. But I'll take it directly to the source and talk to the people that are doing it. And that's the, the me overcoming the, are people doing wrong in my opinion? Isn't my timeline. Isn't me showing them the video over and over. That's not the way. So you do it for I white do. people to educate them. And then you go directly to black people and talk to them about their negatives. I'm is educating them as well. Once so, again, I'm just not doing it on my so, public so timeline you, as so, much. So and I'm you, still not, Shitting on the white people, though, as much as I could. Leo, I mean, it's convenient. I, I'm not it saying is convenient. It's, it sounds very it's convenient. situational. It, it sounds very convenient. It is right, based on what I said. It, it is. is. <laughs> like, it, I actually it, agree. It sounds very convenient. Do you consider, do you consider yourself pro black? Like, how pro black do you consider yourself? I don't even know how to. That's a question. Like, answer are you, that are question. You, are, like you, I'm asking. How so, do I measure it? I don't know. I mean, if you're like, it's pretty <laughs> easy. People who are pro black, they go out there, they. They go out there. They they do things, protest and things like that to promote. I'm they, not a group. I'm not a I'm not a marcher and a protester. I don't then, think that really. So then, how, how, how really uh, if you're if you're trying to be part of the solution, what are you doing to be I, a part of the solution? I truly think the solution is the youth. No, you. What are you doing? I have, Leo, 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 again, Leo, I, Leo gives off a vibe. Let me tell you. No, I've let you talk. Let no, me get nigga, you just asked me a question. I know, but I'm sitting here asking. But you don't you. want me to ask. Well, I'm sitting here saying this. Leo, <laughs> Leo gives off the vibe that he's very pro-black. That's what because we're going off of perception. So what I'm saying is based upon what you just explained. What is Leo doing with his pro blackness outside of Facebook to promote his pro blackness, or is this just situational for Leo? Everything is because, situational. I know, but what are you doing to solve the pro? Because pro blackness is a huge issue for you. It's not. It's like you, you asked me what Adam. was. You asked me what was the solution. What okay, you, what's the solution? The solution, I believe, is the youth. So when I mostly talk to people, like for example, most of the, one of the things I talk about on Facebook and some of these groups is like I care about the like y'all talking about perception. I care about the perception. That's why I don't want to keep sharing the negative videos as much or whatever the case may you be. You ain't got no but kids on your page. Let me though. finish. That's that's besides the point though. No, you say it's about the youth. You no, ain't got no kids on your page. I'm talking about the people that are raising the kids. Oh, so you're trying so, to fix the parents. So I'm talking to the black parents that have the negative issues. I feel like if we don't raise our kids better, that's the only way to overcome is to raise our kids better. A lot of people like like even like hair and self esteem and shit like that. I talk to black women a lot about the perception that they give little girls because they wearing weave all the time, the hair not good enough, that affect them in so many ways, but they grow up and do create the same cycle over and over, and they wonder why the women be insecure in many ways, making bad decisions. That play a part. I have argued with black women so I don't know if y'all remember over the years, not as much over the past two, but I used to argue with black women all the time about that, and about niggas like smoking weed and shit on camera and all that. I don't do it as much anymore because it seemed like, what's the point? So mm-hmm. I try to go into the groups and some of these groups I get added to, they be more like conscious or that's how it appeared. Right. Mm-hmm. So these appear to be a better pick of the litter. So I would think these people are raising their children better. So I try to help educate these people on little things that I think we do wrong. I'm not sitting here not speaking on the issues at all. But once again, I don't think overcoming our issues is just shaming shaming eat ourselves into doing better that doesn't work with us no i mean what works is actually getting out there with the kids and teaching them a better way face first oh yeah sorry to well, answer your question i have kids and i have volunteered my time to give away books and things of that nature i'm trying to link up with this dude on facebook now that do like men uh like healing groups and things of that nature with the youth, teenager, males, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm into that thing. I have kids myself, so I'm passionate about that. I got, you know, three boys or whatever. So I'm trying to live it through action by raising them right as well. Nephews, all all of that. No, No, but a lot lot of people not. A lot of people ignoring it, just letting their kids be raised. And you wake up, your kid's 23 with a drug habit and a problem because you wasn't taking the time to educate him and to help them be... Well, positive like, and have proper self esteem. That's a lot right. of caveats behind that, that last part that you said about what a lot of people ain't doing because, you know, everybody's situation is different. But I'm just telling you, like, I mean, no, we don't <coughs> hang out outside of here. We've had moments where we have hung out. But, I mean, before that last comment, I'm going to keep it being with you, dude. Like, you you seem like you, I mean, you like me and sleep. You go home, you worry about your regular life, you work, you come home. And I don't feel like that you come off like you were. I mean, you work, you do what you got to do, but I don't see, I feel like you address issues when they 
come up like if it's something big that happened then you want to speak on it mm -hmm. like i'm saying like if you are pro black like cuz i'm not as adamant about it as you like i'm i'm like when you say you don't give a fuck like i feel like you're just saying that nigga i don't give a fuck like i live my life based upon my circle and what it is like i i base things on my whole happiness i'm not a superhero i can't change the world I, me preaching to people i feel like it doesn't matter people going to do what they want to do black people have shown that no matter how much things we try to build each other up, we still going to do what the fuck we want to do people going to do what they want to do i'm not going to waste my i can only control what i can i'm real with that i'm 100% but when i sit here and say you you have this adamancy about being so pro black but then like in a lot of ways i'm being real with you dude it doesn't come off that way it comes off situational more towards a slight towards just white people white people ain't all to blame for our negativities we do have to we do have to basically check ourselves and sometimes you know we're not going to listen to what we want to listen to we're not going to listen to each other all the time but i mean if you are talking to some people i applaud you on that i'm going off of how you are you're very pro-black dude and it does come off sometimes that you racist if you're not racist then you're not racist i'm telling you how it comes off knowing you sometimes i come off like that purposefully i, but, I but, get it I mean, why because it's it's necessary sometimes why because i feel like that what what you racist? feel like what no I f <laughs> <laughs> that's why i said what i no, know what you mean i feel I no i feel, feel like it's necessary i feel I like it's necessary like to, to come on, off no to speak on certain issues no we speak on oh, no issues. we, we talk, all speak no, on he, issues. no you he barely was, speak period online dude i you have know. i speak on all well, I, don't, I don't speak on online because i feel like that's just a show like i mean people have that but it don't have to be a show I mean, is it a show when he speaks he has online? an audience dude Every, but does it make it a show is it just the show i mean audience matters when you speak but is it just the show it is when you don't have an audience when you're just talking, just to talk, you people would say it's a, more of a show when you do have Dude, an audience. You know, what do I post on Facebook? I post my workout. Sports shit. No, just my workout. Regular I, I just shit my workout. Sometimes. Just my workout. That's it. I post my workout status. If I go out, me and my family and my girl do something, I post family pics. That's it. Sleep posts on Facebook because he has an audience. When he posts something, guarantee. Yeah, if them motherfuckers want to talk to me, I want to talk. I want to be talking. <laughs> no, but when you was in your when you was in your prime, when rapping, I was in my prime, I was posting You had a similar audience, and you wasn't still posting in that light though, what, in the same way. Well, I'm consistent. That's 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 known. Chris doesn't do anything. As am I. Well, you're not consistent. That's How you just said I come off? We, we, well, we show we show pretty <laughs> much inc we show inconsistencies. <laughs> We've been talking about your inconsistencies with music and how you pick and I'm choose. I'm a human what you being, want. man. I'm like Tupac. Too. Niggas is hella inconsistent. Like one day I feel this way, one day I feel this I'm way. I'm not inconsistent. That, that's a fucking lie, man. I got the same that's energy why, all the time. That's why some people, black people, call you racist different times. White people call you that's racist stupid. different times. I'm that's, just saying. That's people stupid. Just, I can't control my fucking dumb. Like, if somebody catch you here and there, they just gonna feel the way they feel just based on the topic and how they personally feel about it that don't necessarily mean how you feel is the way they perceive it i'm cl i ain't even about to explain why i'm not racist because that come off as well, being racist say, listen i said you i don't think you're racist <laughs> i didn't say you, i just say i don't think you admit that in some ways you do have a it, your views affect a lot of things. Feel like you're heavily music. biased. Like, like, I'm not heavily this. biased, but I am a little bit. I'm a black man living in America. I'm heavily. aware of history. Are. How can I not be a little we bit all biased? Are. It's a choice. That doesn't know? that doesn't change that doesn't change my actions though. It's it, a, it just it's a, affecting it's some a part of, of my views. No, it's a part of my assessment. I feel like we it's have broken my, down in detail how it does of, affect your actions. We're, it's we're, a part of my assessment. It's three black men at the panel, and we 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 all listen to the same stuff. We all like we all are very diverse. You say things like, I mean, when you speak, you, you mention white people like they're, oh, I have white friends or something like that. Like, dude, my other best friend's white. I don't care that he's white. He's just my best friend. I know that. Like, and you've said things about not having kids with a white person because right. you want your kids to look a certain way. So what the fuck is wrong with that? Well, he didn't say nothing was wrong with that. <laughs> but he brought it up, though. Like, this, like, Leo, do you point? understand people have to use things to support their argument? Yeah. Like, like uh -huh. you're, I didn't you agree with on, that level of support. You honestly. don't have to agree with it, but that's how I'm able to try to get you to I'm understand sorry. where I'm coming from. Like, like you were jumping to it. Like, that's why I said, like, I'm not upset. I'm just talking to you, dude. Like, you're getting very, I'm just telling you why. I, have I just to don't agree. You don't have to. You don't agree with what? You're not trying to agree. You're not. You don't agree to, with you're what? Not, I can't even form. I feel I, like you're offended. I have not even got to. Uh, are you offended? My point. A little, a little bit. You're disagreeing. Why? I mean, true. You are. We are. It's very irritating. The way that we see you. People kind of tell you how. I haven't got to say how you are. You've been saying. A I don't lot. think that you. I mean, I don't get the finish nice. form. I don't right think that you're example. honest Go ahead. about Sorry. who Sorry. you are. Let I, I've let lost let track him of what I was trying Go to ahead. say. Like Leo. <laughs> like what I'm sitting here saying is, you say you're a black man in America, as are we not? And then, like, we have the same. We've experienced racism just like you. As it's like we haven't had the same life. Your 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 life. How you the things you experience you change your just, life. Just man. like you don't know my experiences, I don't know yours, Leo. What I'm sitting here saying is they all mold us and make us to who we are, right? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is you either can let those experiences turn you to a negative or to a positive. Me and Sleep have dealt with racism. I've dealt with a lot of racism. I, 
My, but you can always say, well, I dealt with this, this, and that. I'm not trying to compare our struggles, Leo. We we all have a struggle. But what I'm saying is, at what point do you not get that we're all the same? We are all the same in that same battle. No matter how much you want to say, I have not been sheltered anything. We are not the ones having biased opinions on white people. We don't say things like that. We don't come off. When people assess us, they don't ever assess us as, hey, y'all could be possibly racist. I'm going to ask Jerry. Just, they do assess him <laughs> like I'm going to ask Jerry. They Jerry, assess him Jerry, like that all the Jerry. time. So Let, let's just ask Jerry. True like, in be, itself. On both sides. Be, be 100%, Jerry. Okay. Leo. Right. Does he ever, has he ever come off to you to be semi-racist? You want my honest opinion? Your honest, uh, honest opinion. Honestly? Yes, be honest. Leo is one of the whitest black dudes I know. What does that mean? It means like he's not like a, a typical black guy. Um, he, he's <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Are you saying like a token I don't even know black what guy? That means. Like yeah, <laughs> like, you like he's like this. <laughs> are you saying he's like? Are, are you trying to say he's like? Fuck the, you, man. You say he's like. He's like the, you're not. You say he's like the safe black guy. Like he's the he's the the token black guy. Like if he was a, in a toga party, he would be that black guy. Like a privileged. Are you trying to say that's how he comes off? Like. Because, you know, you got I mean, the top I, I, of black... I don't want to say he's like... No, I'm saying like, okay, let me say Let him say it. Let him say it himself. Because he's lost for words. So I'm trying to guide and see what he's trying to say. Let like, him find his truth. Does he not have like the... Like, he's not the cliche black guy that you think of, like, the fearful black guy. Is that what you're talking Yeah. About? Okay, so he's... Yeah. I mean, I... You're safe, my nigga. You yeah. safe, go. You I know, safe. listen. You're cool. I know safe. how I am. <laughs> safe. Listen, it's hard. I get it. Like, sometimes when people go so hard or speak so hard on being pro black or pro whatever, it Big do make it seem like man. they anti something. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah. I get it. But that don't always make it the case. Not always, you know. just in your case. <laughs> Clearly not. I just want to see some Clearly not. I just want to see some positivity on you on the white side too, man. I want to see you all around. There is to... positivity I, on the I, white I, side. I haven't heard man. it, bro. You must not. You don't pay that much I'm attention. with you all the time we do these podcasts, Leo. I'm with you. Since I've known you, dude, you have been a very pro-black person. And it's like I've, I've dealt with pro-black people, man. And there's some black people who who I'm like, all right, well, you know, they, they half and half. You seem very like on the slanted. Yeah, like if there's a, if there's a line where if you cross one more step, you over there like a black supremacist. He said one you more step. one more step to be a black supremacist, dude. Like I'm man, I'm so far away from well, that it step. It, man, it go it gets it comes way, off. It gets way worse than this, man. And it I'm comes just, out just, in your music. I'm just taste. A, I'm just a very honest. I'm just <laughs> a very honest. how. How? We, we, already, we already broke that down. Nigga, I got a, the whitest rock playlist right now. Yeah, when it comes to rock, because it, 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 be, when it comes to rock, and not when it comes to hip hop. I don't like that many white rappers. Why? They I don't like. It's sometimes it's about like <laughs> sometimes it's about like a lot of white rappers into like boom bap, and I don't like listening to boom bap as much anymore. I think as it, much. I think most of your top five is boom bap. If not, I don't nah. know, dude. Yeah. Then it has yeah. to. Then that goes right back to you. But that's mostly because I'll it was made. Out of, it was probably made, five of them are. But that was when. But that's that's the boom back no, when it was like no, the classic. The, what do, do you feel Should like? Better now? Hold on, Leo, because you said earlier you don't like when people try too hard. That was off the wax. Okay, it, okay yeah, we about to wrap it up. But I'm telling like, do you not like <laughs> white rappers because you feel like when they're succeeding that they're trying to be no, something no, no, that no, they're no. not. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. You feel like they're taking off. I don't feel that. I don't feel that way at all. Because what's like? I just want to like your top five rappers right now currently. I don't think they can compare to just the four white rappers that I've named. Eminem, MGK, Macklemore, Mac, Mac Miller. Like, those motherfuckers is killing it. They're consistently killing it. And they can, and like, name, I mean, I mean, if you're putting Kendrick in there, of yeah. course, Kendrick, Ken, okay, he washes Kendrick out one of them. The he, he washes, who's next? Who's next on your list? Currently, current. As far not, as ability or who like, I really you know, want to listen all to? All around, call, currently, skill-wise, off of those cast, like, your lineup. Probably be yo, Kendrick, J. Cole. J. Cole don't match. He, he close to some, but he would be equivalent to Macklemore. Uh, Macklemore like J. Cole last two joints? Who, who, who next? Like a lot. I don't, I don't Macklemore's, really like his music, but right. I don't deny his ability. Right. I don't like Macklemore music neither, yeah. well, but well, I can tell he can right. rap. Bro. Right, and I'm it's saying, like, on that, J. Cole and K Macklemore would be hand and I would give it to Macklemore. So who else you got? Mm, I don't know. Let me think. It's hard. It is. Real hard. It is. <laughs> it's very hard. And that's sad, bro. Big Sean. Because Especially without like, going to Big like Sean big, too much. Big, big Sean ain't close to nothing. I, like big I would put Big Sean big next Sean to... Big Sean like MGK I, type no, I would, of thing. No, I would, like, put big yeah. I would put him next to Mac Miller. Big Sean way Mac, better. Mac Miller like, bigger than I would, like MGK, I would say Mac Miller. Mac Miller, Mac Miller and way. Big Sean would be the two grudge Mac. And I would give it to Mac Miller. I give it to Big Sean. I gotta give it to Big Sean. Big Sean bigger than him. He has bigger songs than him. He consistently better. Like, Big Sean don't really... He don't I feel, I feel and like he, technically, and he shine on songs yeah. with people that's better. I feel him. like technically MGK is a better rapper. I said word, Mac bar, Miller. Bar for bar, I word for Mac word. Miller. 
Oh, Mac Miller. I said Mac oh, Miller. Mac Miller. I, I said Mac over Big Miller. Sean. Yeah. Mac Miller is comparable to Big Sean. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel like Mac Miller is better than Big Sean. Without like, a without a record label, I'm saying he's, he, he's, he's pretty he's way more successful. He's better. Like I mean, I, I don't know if he's way, way more successful. successful. Yeah. Let me take that back. That's why I just said <laughs> honestly, I feel like <laughs> that's a toss up. Right. Uh, so, Big Sean, MGK, that's right, a toss so, up. They so, really close. So your fourth, uh, it's struggles now. You're struggling now. I'm gonna think it's a lot of rappers. Absolutely. Nah. Lupe. Lupe, you could throw I wouldn't count in. Lupe as a like I current. I wouldn't count him in those five compared to the he five that I just put on my. He head. don't got enough like content yeah. for me to to count him. How you feel about Vanilla Ice, dog? Oh my god! Honestly, I like Ice Ice. I used baby. to love yeah. Vanilla Ice. That shit went hard. And yeah. the Ninja Turtles, Ninja, Ninja Rock, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Rap. Yeah, Rap. that shit was hard. That was my <laughs> favorite uh, shit. What, what I was you got kid. for these last two? It's <sighs> tough. It's tougher than what you thought. It's real hard. And it's proof. I wouldn't. I mean, I still wouldn't put G Easy in. That's because you never. I wouldn't put MGK in. That's because you didn't listen to. And you wouldn't put Mac Miller in. Did you listen to Bloom yesterday? That's that's because you know why you ain't putting G Easy in there because you didn't listen to his album. And let's be honest, you did. That's true. Listen to it. When album. I listen to his songs, he no, don't wow me. It's like, it. that's why I call him Wiz Khalifa. I agree. His, it's sing, like, it's his just single songs. Hook. Yeah, his single right. songs but aren't very good. Check out album. the album. Same thing with MGK. His singles aren't MGK, good. MGK, uh, you, 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 like, you can't. Singles are just that, man. Singles. I'm leaving Like, hi, my name is. I'm leaving out mass, like, current rappers. But if it was so easy. They would just come like that. Because back in the day, we named five. It's boom, 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 boom. But if you wouldn't have brought up MGK and Mac Miller, I but wouldn't have thought relevant. of those names they're, they're, neither, though. Honestly, I wouldn't but, have thought of but that. But that, that's my point. Because those are, like, the four fronts right now. We just, this whole week was Eminem, g Easy, and MGK. White dudes, man. They're, that's because they talking shit about each other. It's not it. because they, if they would have released, they if they would have all out. released, if they would all release projects as they have you recently, wouldn't have we them. wouldn't have talked about none of them you except would. Eminem. But G Easy, no, hold on, dude, I we just, ain't been talking about on. no more. No, I, we wouldn't have been. That's but you know. I mean, the internet, but he, pre- he pretty about, big. I'm saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't even everybody else. But you wouldn't listen to those cats anyway. I listen to them because, like I said, I listen to them because it's good music, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. Like G Easy, like his. FM. You have not listened right. to his album, to so you are making a biased opinion without listening <laughs> to him. No, most of the time I have heard G Easy is literally went out because I listen when you to listen Kiss, Kiss FM sometimes. Yeah. Why, why I'm speaking you, on what why, I know. I'm not just talking. Exactly. All right, listen. We, you listen. Know? G Easy just now, guys. We're, go, we're gonna continue this talk off the air. <laughs> we'll be back for another episode, and we got a big surprise for you guys next episode. We're switching up a little few of the things. We're still going to have all the same four people, but we're switching up some with the podcast. It's a big surprise. So if you are following us on social media, you'll see the surprise probably during the week. Uh, in the meantime, go to KYHBB.com. Yeah. KYHBB.com. Check out all the different podcasts on there. You can check out some of our old stuff, and also on the Stitcher app and the iTunes store, you you can uh, subscribe to our podcast, Google Play, uh, Google, Google Play, Play as well. Shit, I shouldn't say podcast. Shit, I shouldn't say podcast. You can check out old episodes. We gonna go ahead and let y'all get up out of here. This ran too long, but we're gonna finish this yeah. off air. Shit. Still ain't dropped that. The mother two cats. <laughs> That's basically just my point. Man. We got in your ass, bro. Y'all was wrong too. We got like so in. We got in your ass. <laughs> y'all try to jam me and shit. <laughs> I gave you free breakfast. I ain't talking to sleep at all. Mm. I gave you free breakfast. Oh.